my god. In order to beat Terraria's infamous Calamity mod, I need to find and craft hundreds of new weapons, take down 27 new bosses, navigate new treacherous biomes, use this chart I found to cope with pain. YouTube is admittedly pretty oversaturated with playthroughs of this mod right now, but I've got one thing up my sleeve that the competition doesn't. I have never beaten this game by myself before. Like, without mods. Like, just the game. I've had this game since 2015, and I've never beaten the final boss by myself. So naturally, I decided I would take on this mod that makes Terraria's final boss basically the halfway point, and I'm gonna do it in Revengeance mode, which is a significant step up in difficulty from Expert mode, alone, with only rogue class weapons. Oh, I'm throwing bricks. What followed was easily the most agonizing, emotional, exhausting playthrough I've ever done. And I don't think it's a surprise to anyone that it took me ages to finish. As I'm writing this script right now, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to do it in the first place. I'm like halfway through. There's a good chance this whole project gets scrapped and I'll have done all this work for nothing simply because I am two ass cheeks to win at this game. Welcome to hell, everyone. I have literally never felt as low and vulnerable on stream as what you're about to see. I had like 10 breakdowns over the course of this playthrough. And here's why. Golden relics are obtained by beating bosses and mini bosses. This graphic I made shows every single relic I can get in my world. And obviously this is where I'm starting from. It doesn't seem like that much of an undertaking to collect all these until you realize that sometimes just one of them can take multiple four hour streams for me to get. So obviously I'm gonna get every single one of these since I wanna do every thing there is to do in this shithole. And real quick before we start, this is probably the most effort and definitely the most anguish I've ever put into a video, and I'm so proud of it, so I'd really appreciate it if you could watch it all the way through and let me know what you think. I don't care if you have to do it in a few sittings. Just do it. All right, this is undoubtedly my proudest gaming accomplishment of all time, unless I can't, unless I can't do it. <laughs> It's time to embark on what will likely be the most emotionally tumultuous journey in channel history. I decided to christen this new series by naming my little man Clush Gush, and all eminent kings need a fittingly named domain. Dinosaur? <laughs> Dinosaur Land. I pick Medium World, Expert Mode, Crimson, Pop and Advil, and begin. The first thing I do in our new world is speak to Leobot. This is the last time I will be speaking to Leobot. After three full minutes of wrapping my mind around the boss checklist mod and over 20 minutes into the first stream, I begin playing the video game. I crack open my little goodie bag and get to work building a home to sleep and fart in. Actually, instead, I'm setting out to explore the world and I'm saving building for later, I guess. I find a spear and a giant tree that will carry me through the first, like, three hours of gameplay while I struggle to find my footing. Finch staff? Yeah. There we go. I got a bird on my head. <laughs> this is hard as fuck, dude. <laughs> Killing one of the little machines roaming around the forest yields a rover drive, which gives me a huge boost to my defense while active. The only downside is that it makes me look like a digital marble, which kind of blows. I find this cool shrine underground that gives me a super helpful accessory that I forget about and never use. I get swiftly sent packing by a literal bat and decide to make house building lemonade out of my death lemons. Okay, I would like a workbench. Bam! Am I gonna keep getting achievements for doing the simplest shit? Now I can go to work. I've got plenty of people living here. Let's go the other way. I nab some climbing claws and very importantly, a blizzard in a bottle. Having a double jump is absolutely crucial early on in the game. I grab a life crystal to increase our max health and replace the trusty spear with an ice sword. While I'm in the ice caves, I'm keeping my eyes peeled for any flinxes since the fur they drop can be crafted into the first rogue class armor set. I haven't found a single one of these Fuck you! And there it is! I was about to say, I haven't found a single one of these flinks things I need. 
Okay, I'm putting my things away. After a hefty struggle, I managed to craft a snow ruffian set and throw it on. The donning of this outfit introduces me to a central mechanic of the rogue class, stealth. If you go a little while without attacking, you build stealth, which can be used to unleash super strong stealth strikes. And don't worry, it takes me like 20 hours to actually use this effectively. So I have two main goals now. First, craft the crystalline, a really strong early game rogue weapon. Second, set up magic storage. Magic storage is an unbelievably helpful mod that turns my 10 chests worth of unorganized items into basically a Wikipedia page with a search bar, and I want it now. Unfortunately, I need to find some diamonds for both of these things, which it turns out is really freaking hard. I'm going to space, first of all, since I know there are some little moons that spawn way up in the sky that can have any kind of gem inside, plus a bunch of other helpful resources like ores, potion herbs, life crystals, and chests. It takes me like 30 seconds to find like a second earth right above my house. Hopefully this isn't an omen for some kind of catastrophic world event. Whoa, this is a lot of stuff. Oh my God. I'm out of space. Oh, it's a billion like planter boxes. Gravitation potions, huge, humongous. Having those gravitation potions is gonna make it a lot easier to find new planets and a lot harder to keep my digestive tract in check. The first sky island has a star fury in it, which is the one thing we don't need. God, I need a grappling hook. I'll be able to get up there with the greatest of ease. Don't touch me. Oh my God. Wow! These are the kinds of islands, even though they look the least impressive, these are the kinds of planets that I'm actually most, do not, I'm actually most interested in. Because they all have a guaranteed life crystal and they have gem, like a kind of gem. Over the course of my space odyssey, I managed to gather over a thousand iron ore. So we should be set for life on that front. Something cool, like a balloon, balloon please. Damn it, really? Another star fury? I was gonna say just anything but another star fury would be ideal. All right. Yeah, that's, that's death for me. They're just gonna combo me in the air. Holy shit! More iron. This is unbelievable. This is like my fifth one. There we go. It's topaz again. This is unreal. I really just need anything better than iron and topaz right now, and I'm kind of getting screwed. As much good loot as I've already found up here, this trip has been unfortunate from the start. I run into another topaz moon and an amethyst moon before finally finding a helpful accessory that negates fall damage. Last thing I do before throwing in the towel is grab a balloon from a cloud, which is one of the few silver linings that last like 30 minutes, along with getting enough lice crystals to raise my HP to 200. Plan B is to burrow into the ground and suck up any gems I've find. I also need some tungsten to set up my magic storage apparatus thing. Now the spelunker potion I'm using throws a fucking snapchat filter on everything so it's like impossible to tell what gem you're mining towards until you're literally right there staring it in the face. Finally I get my hands on a grappling hook and set out to make some more potions. What the fuck am I looking at? What is that? I didn't realize I was playing magic the gathering. I have tons of spelunker potions. I've got my, my B cart. Come back. Oh, vehicular manslaughter. Come back, come back, come back. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Oh, bitch. Stop. Stop. Okay. I love reading, but I can only read romance books or I get bored. Fuck. I keep, <laughs> I keep doing that. After like an hour of obliterating the natural supply of emeralds and sapphires and finding enough life crystals to get to the max of 400 HP, I finally return to the surface with everything I need to craft the crystalline. Now that I've completed a full live stream, I can actually start doing the challenge. Here's our progress on the boss list. Okay. I'm being fondled by allergies right now. I, I seriously worry. In the, in the long run for this series in that I don't know if I'll be able to beat this game I probably won't be able to but I'm sure gonna try like hell while I was talking to my chat about how I went to my fraternity's formal dressed like a young Republican presidential candidate I was too enthralled to notice that something was quickly making its way over to me now they're gonna start beating me up and taking my lunch Oh shit, really? I don't have speed boots, I'm gonna pass away. Let's pause for learning time. These two bars up here are crucial for boss combat. This is rage. It'll steadily build if I'm close to an enemy and it'll fill especially fast during boss fights. This is adrenaline. It'll fill at a constant rate during a fight, but I'll lose all my progress if the boss hits me. Each can be used when completely filled to give me a huge damage boost for a bit, which becomes even stronger if I use both at once. That said, both need to be activated with a button and I have no sense of where keys are in relation to my fingers, unfortunately. And there are slimes falling from the sky. What the hell? Oh! Now I'm pissed! 
Oh my god, now I'm like super pissed. Oh my god. Lord help me! Oh my god! Shit, dude! I don't have any speed. I forgot to turn the music down. The music is so loud. Ah, oh, shit. Woo! I was not expecting to take that one down. Oh my god. Easy as pie. Okay, I gotta put some shit away. It took until the second stream, but we finally have our first boss kill. The main prize of this fight is the Shield of Cthulhu, which grants me a supremely useful dash if I double tap a direction. I'm also able to use the Shadow Diamonds dropped by the eye to set up magic storage. Well, at the very least, I can go ahead and... Sunday slide all my shit into here. Someone lets me know there's an acid rain event going on in one of the new biomes added by the Calamity mod called the Sulfur Sea. First of all, I think like all schools had like a colonial day, at least the US schools, which most of it aged pretty poorly, but most like elementary school activities aged pretty poorly. My elementary school had like an African market <laughs> where we were like bartering with beans and they were like, this is how they live in Africa. It's like, no, it's not. We made like a quote unquote colonial air freshener by just jamming a bunch of cloves into an orange. To be fair, it did smell pretty nice. I'm stuck. Jesus. I can't fit! Oh my God! It's a two block wide. Please! I can't do this anymore. Oh, I can't take it anymore. And other slugs blocking the way. After chipping away at the stinky frogs and aggressive, murderous sky fish for a while, I craft the next armor set of the series, the Sulfurous Set. I also throw together everything I need to make a pair of Hermes boots since I've been lacking the speed I need to beat the f next boss. Next on our hit list is the Desert Scourge, the first boss added by the Calamity mod. I need to traverse the underground desert and kill some storm lions to craft the spawner, but right when I'm getting ready to do that, I find the spawner in a box. But now I'm down here and I kinda wanna explore. Okay, the, it, it, you know what? That's you, my mind. I throw down a little play place and then start our first modded boss battle. I hope I don't eat my words here, but... Whoa! Okay, I think I'm gonna eat my words. These guys are faster than I thought they were gonna be. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It was going so well. This guy's stuck. Okay, now he's gone. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> wow. That victory earns us our second relic of many to come. I'm not planning to use any of the loot it drops, but it's good to have it around for crafting later. Next up is Crabulon, which I need to fight in the glowing mushroom biome. Another play place later, I'm ready to rumble. Okay, let's uh try our best. Where is it? I'm here. Oh! I was about to say, I'm hearing the EDM dance party. Dropped on my noggin like a man possessed. Oh! He's smart. <laughs> oh, tricked him. Ow! Oh, right when I got my adrenaline, that blows. Rage mode. Almost got him. I am dominating this video game. Wow, I didn't even need adrenaline. Holy shit. That is three boss kills in a row without a single death. Maybe this challenge is going to be easy. I was mainly looking to fight this guy for the rogue weapon it drops, but I pretty much never end up actually using it. The real prize here is this accessory called the fungal clump, which just floats around and latches onto people, giving me some health back in the process. I kind of just equipped it for giggles because it's called fungal clump. Um, but this guy actually dragged me through like half this game basically single-handedly. Now I want to fight the goblin horde, but much like a little league curveball, it's the kind of thing you just have to wait on. I busy myself by decorating my woodland home for a while and then getting bored and setting out to fight the brain of Cthulhu. Yes, yeah, sir. I think the micro roots can be helpful for the last phase where it gets knocked back by anything. So we can just like stand there and like melt it with a flamethrower. Wow. I'm a machine. Okay. This is where I think we're gonna use this thing. Well, this is lovely. This is like a screensaver. Did I underestimate myself? Dude, I'm kind of destroying this video game. Okay, it's actually really... This part is annoying. I'm gonna switch back to this, because I... feel like it has more range, and I have no idea what this little asshole is. I have no idea where, like, it is ever. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose this fight. After talking so much shit. We did it. Easy as pie. <laughs> god damn it. That's another fight that doesn't really give us anything we need, but it's good to check it off the list. Now I'm back to waiting for the goblins, so I'm making some homes all around the map for my NPCs to live in. Having little neighborhoods in each biome lets you purchase pylons for fast travel, which for sure comes in handy. Street House is actually so cute, I would live there. Really? Oh 
Oh man, really? Ow, fuck. Stop. Oh my god. Oh my god, Goblin Army. Wow, I was whining for nothing. So we secured the forest, jungle, and cave pylons for now. Once I'm done curb stomping like a hundred little boys and girls, the remaining tattered shreds of their army leave me alone finally. Now the Goblin Tinkerer is sitting on the ground somewhere in the caverns, and I need to track him down. I guess we'll just run around and, and hope. That we m happen to stumble. In okay. We're getting access to three crucial things here. We can buy rocket shoes, which is sick as hell. We can combine our accessories into better ones. We can reforge our weapons to make them stronger. I make a white horseshoe balloon and a pair of lightning boots, which gives me extra mobility. <coughs> oh, the water doesn't spill anywhere. Warp! Good shit, Phil. You. You fart. Fart for me. Now draw her farting. After forging some little knives out of hell metal, I feel equipped to take on the perforators, which I remember nothing about. There it is. Oh my God, this is the one with like hard metal. This is my favorite part of this mod is how overdramatic it is. I like how many of these fights have been worms. I'm a sucker for a worm, you know what I mean? Probably. I suck worms. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh my God. My nose itched and I had to remove my hand to itch my nose. So our first L is handed to us by a clump of meat and three worms, which isn't a super great feeling. Well, this is a next week problem. Now that we've hit our first roadblock, I feel like roadblock is fucking dramatic. I literally died once to a boss fight. It's like a little pothole, I guess. I've decided it's time to get serious, and my method of achieving that is consulting the loadout guide of someone far more knowledgeable about this game than I am. So I'd like to extend an enormous thank you to Get Good Woe and his Calamity Rogue Setup Guide, which will be the holy text of this entire run. You are a visionary. You are my light. God bless. Terra Bible says I should craft a Raider's Talisman, a rogue accessory that powers up my stealth strikes. I don't think I've used one yet. My idea of going all in on this next attempt is to grab three potions that were just lying around and extend the arena by like four feet. Should be good to go. All right, let's give it a go. Buff. Let me get my stealth, because stealth is going to be crucial. Okay. Oh my god. I have to look down at my keyboard to heal because my brain doesn't know where the keys are after years of playing video games on a computer. Firing less often and focusing on stealth strikes is going to be... Wow. Nice shot, moron. Eat my pants! Oh, shit. Kill the worm. Oops. I moved the whole game window. I hope that didn't just jack up my capture. God damn. We did it. Is my capture okay? Call me dyslexic, because that L looks more like a W now. And I have a low reading comprehension level. The defeat of the perforators opens the door to a new kind of ore in the Sky Islands, Aerolite. Although a new weapon and our first pair of wings are both key here, a full set of aerospec armor is what I'm really after. And it takes me about 10 minutes of cloud mining and harpy murdering to get there. That takes us from 23 defense and 59 to 24 defense, but 63. It's, it's like a little better. So that was kind of underwhelming. Either way, I'm making Skeletron my B word. Have y'all seen the, um, the dude on TikTok who does food review videos? His name's Wayne Dang. And he just talks in kind of like a no normal tone of voice. And then just bites into this piece of brisket and just goes, damn. I love that video. Wayne Dang, if you, if you ever see this, you can bite into my brisket anytime. Actually, never mind. It's daytime. So we're doing Queen Bee instead. B! Oh, I missed. There we are. Ew, I don't I didn't like that noise. Wow. Our, our weapon does a lot of damage, dude. Oh, shit's blowing up. What is blowing up? Besides my YouTube videos. Ow! I know you could curve your shots. Ow! Wait, let me take a dip in the... Really? There's a second one? Oh, shit. I didn't know there was another. Ow! It was going so well. Tomato, tomato, tomato. I don't have time for tomatoes. Oh, fuck. Wow! Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. Yeah, we didn't build an arena and there were two of them. So, I'm not especially upset about that. Okay, whatever. Uh, it's Skeletron. No. <laughs> Alright. Let's do what we can. Hooray! Skeletron's hand is down. Oh my god. Oh, it can teleport now. See? It got its hands back and that's not fair. 
Now I gotta break its hands again because it has too much defense. I'm, I'm killing it with the dodging. That's a lot of adrenalines. All right. I'm never speaking. Okay, we, we've got him. We've got him. We've got him. To everyone who thought I would die. <sighs> I'm not allowed to say curse words, but just know I'm very mad. Another boss slumped and the dungeon is now open for business. All we really want for now is for enemies to drop some golden keys so we can hunt for a cobalt shield and a shadow key. Okay, another... Oh, there's a key. Wow. Wow! Whoa, it's like the two things I want. All right, neat. Well, the next target is the slime god. And I know I've skipped three bosses here, but I'll backtrack later and crush them since killing them would mean literally nothing to me right now. Okay, the cacti are gonna make me squeal. And not in the cool way. Not in the cool way that people squeal. Where's the clam? Ow. There's the clam. No! He's provoked! What provoked? Was it my clump? Does he not like my clump? But everybody likes my clump. No more clam. Clam is gone. I got a relic for that. I feel like I don't deserve one. And a new pal. Hi. I'm looking for the abandoned lab since apparently it can teach me how to make a pretty good rogue weapon called the tracking disc. Jesus. This is like a music that I play in the background of like a top 20 lunch meats video on YouTube from like 2013. Another goddamn clam. Here we go. Schematic. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong with me? Schematic! Hooray! Oh shit, I have to go all the way back. Fart in my mouth. And slap on my face. Because I'm mad. I finally craft the disc only to find that it also needs to be charged and I don't have a clue in the world how one would do that. It takes me like 45 seconds to understand that you need these guys which produce power cells that you can use to charge weapons. While I wait for that process, I decide to finally build out my pylon network a bit more. Now, is this valid housing? Wow, that doesn't feel legal. If I re recall correctly about how to find the mechanic, I think... She's just gonna lie and face down somewhere in here. And we gotta, like, grab her and take her ass to the reboot van. What is happening? It's spiffy. What the fuck is going on? There you are. God damn. We're cool now. Don't move. I dropped my contact. Bye. In the time it takes me to secure the snow pylon, the bandit moves in, and they've got a shiny new weapon for sale that I want. It's called the Kylie, and it's a super sluggish boomerang that hits like a semi-truck. I'll call it the kneecapper. Combining the kneecapper with my fully charged Roomba makes me a much more powerful boy. Maybe even powerful enough for the next boss. I adore your streams. I'm so glad. I like doing them a lot. They're very fun. Oops. Power in my house just flickered. That's frightening. Um, I love, I love streaming. That would have been so tragic. I love to live stream. <laughs> My house shut down. What is your dream house like? Oh God, I don't know, man. This shit, I don't want. It's just like, it's not comfortable. If I just look up cute kitchen, it's just gonna, every time I look up cute on Google, it's just like, here's a bunch of pink kitchens. It's like, this is not, see what I fucking, like, no. This would work if you had an easy bake and nothing else. Stop with these, th like, who would want to sit on these? Not this, but like these images just based on color alone. I don't know what the fuck this light's doing to Michael Jackson. This is closer. This is actually way closer. This is the kind of rug I was envisioning, like these ones with fun patterns and colors and like wood. After killing enough slimes, the king slime comes around to enact vengeance, but I have the kneecapper, so that doesn't really work for him. Not an especially ceremonious way to get a relic, but I don't much care. Once I have a suitable arena for the fight, I'm ready to rumble. Let's try it, gamers. This is the one that has like the, this, this, the music in this fight is like super, like it's all over dramatic. This is like on another level though, and I kind of love it. Whoa, look at a laser. Whoa, this thing is really cool. I was like underwhelmed when I was throwing it at nothing. I didn't realize it had this cool effect when you actually use it on a foe. Wow, this is great for crowd control. Hey, 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 oh my God. It's all going to shit. I was like doing so great. Hey, oi, oi, oi. Whoa, he's got ups. Maybe at the rim for that. Oh my god. Okay, another one down. That is needed. I was starting to get very overwhelmed. Almost got him. Where are- Whoa! Come on! Ow, 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 ow. Got him. Now I need to kill this thing, right? What? What do you mean it flees? 
Oh, it dropped the loot. I thought it was like one of those things where I killed it out of order. <laughs> we did it. All I really care about from this one was the purified gel. A super important crafting material for gearing up before the looming wall of flesh fight. I also get a permanent upgrade to adrenaline mode, which is helpful. Real quick, I make a set of stat gel armor, which is going to be our last set of pre-hard mode. I'm riding on real good vibes right now. I'm beating bosses on my first try. I'm discovering new things about the world I live in. I'm building, I'm mining, and I have no idea what torment lies ahead of me. No idea. Oh, hey, look, the hell bridge is done. Stop. No! Oh, my God. Whatever, dude. Whatever. We'll just beat it first try or whatever. That's okay. I did a good bit of damage. I feel like an intentional try at this dude should be all I need, so let's give it one more go. All right, here we go. 113. All right, never mind. This is a problem for next week. I'm looking for help anywhere I can get it at this point because I'm impatient and just want to get to hard mode now. And someone in my chat has spent the last 30 minutes just incessantly demanding that I make some gel darts. And while I don't like to condone spamming, they were they were really good. <laughs> Demonic bone ash. Guys, just made the realization that that literally sounds like the word ass. I, I stream for giggles. I do not stream for profit. I do YouTube for giggles and profit. <laughs> After like 15 minutes of gathering, I'm able to craft the Terra Spark boots, which let me run real fast, walk on water, and do some other rad shit. Bottomless shimmer bucket. Is that a My Little Pony? Okay. Uh, sorry. Why are there so many wildlife creatures that gather around as if we're Snow White and then get bodied big time by my eyeball shield? Play Lego Indiana Jones. Uh, leave Therm's stream chat. What is exclamation point baby? New weapon, new accessories, longer bridge. I think I'm ready for another try. Let's go! I'm gonna use the tracking disc for the first part because the lasers are really handy. I'm to about half. Which we've done every time. This is where shit hits the fan pretty consistently. Oh shoot, this is where my shallow ass bridge bites me in the ass. Saying a lot of ass today. We speak of that which we desire. <laughs> Woo! That was a close call. Ah, oh, there goes my damn adrenaline. God, the, the demon scythes are what get me more than the boss. This is what happened last time. I was doing so good, and then I got beat up by the the demons of the dark. What even just hit me, man? Oh, it was one of those damn leeches. The demon scythes! All three of those hit me! Okay, I need to focus up here. Whoo! That was a photo finish. Dude, if, if demons weren't present... We don't, we, that's hitless. Easy peasy, all done with that rat bastard. The biggest prize here besides game progression is the permanent extra accessory slot, which is seen and extremely appreciated. The next weapon I want to grab is some cobalt kunai. So I run to the crimson to break some altars and bless dinosaur land with some hard mode ores. Unfortunately, I get oh jumped by these God. star themed things that are literally immortal, what it turns out. When I finally make it there alive and kill a few altars, I notice something. I guess I noticed nothing. Nothing is nothing is happening. No ores are being generated. No message is popping up in the chat. Turns out that Calamity Mod reworks the beginning of hard mode completely. Just by beating the wall, you've already created Cobalt and Palladium in your world. Once you manage to take down a mechanical boss, you get the next tier of ores. Beating a second mech boss gets you the last tier of ores. And beating the final mech boss allows Hallowed Ore to spawn underground. If you're confused, that's fine. I barely understand this game without mods, so I was super lost. So I pivot to slowly sandpapering these huge guys down with my boom meringue since the titan heart they drop is a key component in my next armor set i bet every monster in terraria was once under the bed of the creator and he just trapped them there as punishment or is that too much fantasy that's too much fantasy dude it's way like man everyone say hello to our fifth outfit of the playthrough the titan heart armor a huge defense and damage upgrade now i'm gonna go mine some cobalt okay all done i can throw blue knives now still a couple upgrades to make now that we're in hard mode the first of which requires that i wipe out the local population of pixies and don't worry they are not on the threatened species list, so it's fine. After killing a couple wyverns, I make myself a pair of fairy wings so I may wear the corpses of thousands on my back. Oh, look, a rogue emblem. 
Ooh, we scooby boop boop. Sweater. We eat those. I don't think I've ever survived one of those in my life. Now that I'm sufficiently geared up, I'm ready to take on Cryogen. Looking back, this was definitely the first of a few turning points. On this pain scale that I found, we're about to advance from butterfly kiss to mosquito bite. Definitely worse, but nowhere near the bullet ant hell we're eventually gonna get to. So now that the fights are getting tougher, I'm gonna make a stylistic shift from just letting footage play out to actually describing what it's like to fight the boss. Cryogen is really defensive and fires icicles in really predictable patterns, but it can get overwhelming pretty fast, especially since it'll just lurch at you sometimes, which can get you if you aren't paying attention. The toughest part about this fight, though, is the fact that getting hit even once chills you and slows you down a ton, which means taking just one hit can lead to a whole string of hits that ends your attempt right there. With my Cobalt Kunai, I'm purely doing stealth strikes since that's their strength for sure, and I'm dealing pretty good damage, actually. The issue is that I'm getting slapped around. I might need to put Fungal Clump back on, guys. <laughs> Terrible start. I'm tempted to give up and start over. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do about that? Like, seriously. Yeah, because if I fly up, it's auto death because of those spikes. What am I supposed to do about that? Genuinely. I'm gonna I need to remap the heal button um, on my on my keyboard. Because I keep having to look down to heal. I was gonna map it to one of the little side buttons on my mouse. Because I keep looking down because my brain just can't process like oh, right when I see like right there I had to look down to find the uh, C key. Ah! Damn. Oh, my, my game just glitched. That was really frustrating. I don't know if that came through to stream. Fuck you. Right when I got my adrenaline. Oh, now it's under half, so it's like pissed. I see. Oh. Oh, is that a mechanic? Oh, it's a built-in mechanic. That's really interesting. I was wondering, I was like, my like my computer's audio glitches sometimes, but never like that. It was a built-in thing. I thought I just got really unlucky with some tech thing. That's really interesting. I kind of like it. I mean, I might die to it, and then I'm probably going to say it's stupid and I hate it. Yeah, man. That, that last phase is insane. Now I'm getting restless, so I begrudgingly turn to Google and start researching for some tips. Easily the biggest takeaway from this search is that the warmth potion makes you immune to that debuff, which will be enormous. There we are. Yay! Fuck. I catch a cold fish, brew the potion, and the stars have aligned to finally take down this cantankerous ice cube. Let's try our best. Okay, this is where all my NPCs die. <laughs> I took out two of them in one fell swoop. Holy shit! Oh my god! Kill him! Oh my god! Jesus, he's been at like one health for five hours! Kill him! Alright. Easy as pie. Told y'all. That was really annoying and kind of a rude awakening. But again, a mosquito bite. Stay tuned. Taking down Cryogen has now opened the door for the Daedalus armor, which I want desperately. That being said, I can't actually mine the ore I need until after I beat two mechanical bosses. So instead, I'm going to work my way through all this multi-step secret lab shit. Which I love, by the way. I think it's super cool. Because I want a weapon called the Frequency Manipulator. And all I need to make it is to decrypt this schematic somehow requires a code breaker well what in god's name does that mean okay i think i got it going here well that decrypts i'm gonna give the twins a go since i can usually handle this fight with no issue why can't i heal i don't have any healing potions wow can't blame anyone but myself for that one all right i really it's a homing attack! Home! What is going on? Just pepper him. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Jesus, man. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And now I can go mine some mithril and make the frequency manipulator, which unfortunately needs to be charged like iPhone. The only thing standing between me and titanium ore is Skeletron Prime. So I'll take care of him real fast. This is like the best set of potions we've ever had for a fight. Ever. Whoa, electricity. This thing is really cool, but it fires extremely slow and it has a long animation. I'm having a hard time getting used to it. There we go. That should take it down. All right. It's just the head. 
There we go. That should be mega damage. Nice, 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 nice. Almost got him. Oh, he's done. Come to Papa. Yay! You can tell you beat him when your screen freezes. With those two back-to-back -back easy victories, it's looking like the struggles with Cryogen were just a blip. And I'm bringing these good vibes to the mines. Mining done, and I can finally make myself a set of Daedalus armor and an ornate shield. A solid accessory that'll give me a better dash and a few other neat treats. The Destroyer is the only mech boss left, so I can just dispose of him for you guys. It's all good. It's exactly what I feared. Okay, I forgot how much I hate this one. We're doing a blood moon. I can use the blood orbs to make potions, I guess. There's a pretty long list of NPC friends that want to live in dinosaur land, and we're having some kind of housing crisis, so they'll live in the dirt and be happy about it. The table in the chair looks so sad. You know what else would look sad? If I somehow found your location. That's so uncool. I need to stop saying that. <laughs> it's always a joke, but it... I shouldn't say that. <laughs> okay, now I'm feeling refreshed and hopeful, and I think we can give this guy a run for his money. That sucks. That, see, that last phase is impossible, really. Man, this isn't what I thought would happen. And then I get kicked in the nutsack by a solar eclipse, which is, I think, my least favorite thing in this video game. Now I need more souls of night. And once I drop to my evil zone, I realize I left my weapon charging at home like it's a fucking laptop. So I figure I'll just save time by chipping away at these enemies with my pickaxe that does four damage instead of taking 30 seconds to go grab it. Y'all, Jesus. I'm working on video. <laughs> so dramatic. When are we gonna get a YouTube video? Never. It's been a week. I don't upload very often because I'm a full-time college student and it's Thanksgiving break right now, so I'm spending time with my family. It's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was yesterday. Then what is he celebrating? Jesus, man. Oh my God. <laughs> it's freaking, I've got my grandparents coming down. Do not turn me into stone. What the, f Jesus. Oh my God. I got turned to stone or something. Did I have like cardiac arrest from looking at it? Finally, I do something nice and make a Cosmolite, which lets me skip time. Extremely convenient and I love it. I'm not messing around this time. I'm making more potions and I'm finally learning that I can zoom out and see more danger. This zoom out thing is already making a difference. See, like look at how much damage we're doing and that's awesome. But it's gonna hit this phase where all of a sudden it's like, oh, you don't get to play <laughs> anymore. Ah! Yeah, that, that's the angle I have a lot of trouble with. Oh, I forgot I can dash through him. Oh, I forgot that's what the ornate shield does. I could've been doing that this whole time. I can dash through him, dude. See? Almost a choke of monumental proportions. I forgot you can dash through him. No sweat. Also, just a note that a whole novel drops every time I beat a boss with this damn mod. I can mine some hallowed ore now. This has been the mining stream, it turns out. Call me Colleen Ballinger's sneaky link because I'm a miner. Last thing I want to get done today is crafting the Spear of Destiny, my next weapon. All I need for that is an i spear, which has a 1 in 15 chance of dropping from one of these Icker sticker enemies. So it isn't that rare. Uh, I had to kill about 200 of these things until one finally dropped. For you math wizards at home, that's about a 0.0001% chance. On the bright side, I'm set for life with all the souls of night I managed to grab. Ah! We got it! <laughs> so now I have a shotgun, basically, which I feel like is a nice way to cap off this stream. Okay, so my weapon now makes... Um, what sounds like a car crash. Oh, it's like homing. Yeah. I have a hundred stealth. <gasps> 2,180 damage. Stream six is a wonderful time to accelerate from mosquito bite to bee sting on our handy dandy chart here. We've got a few calamity mod bosses that have formed a little line to see who gets to kick my ass first. Firstly though, I'm gonna need to make some boss spawners and some personal equipment upgrades. You look like Logan from Big Time Rush. Epic. I do not look like this dude. What are you talking about? This is a separate man. What's your opinion on the economic crisis in Turkey? What am I supposed to say about that, dude? Oh no. I guess I might as well pop one of these. I just need a, uh, ah! Whoa, I can one-shot those now? Now I've got some new shoes and wings, and I'm ready to get humbled real hard. But first, I'll spend about 20 minutes slowly crafting and assembling all the ingredients for an Ankh shield I don't think I ever used. All that's left is to build some nice, smelly beach homes so I can teleport straight over in the future. Who called Captain Creative? Ding! 
Hello, it's me. <laughs> All right. Silver zone. I would live here. No, I wouldn't. It smells like eggs. But I would look at it, say wow, and then leave. All right, combat time. The aquatic scourge is a huge worm in the sulfur seas that has like three attacks. It shoots spikes sometimes, leaves little farts everywhere, and lunges at you, I guess. That's literally it. This should have been an incredibly simple undertaking. Did not expect such loving scenery from a place called the Sulfur Sea, but I love being surprised. Ow, I got hit. There goes the hitless run, folks. Okay, so this thing hits hard. It's it's pretty pretty fairly dodgeable. Oh, okay. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Now it's like really polluting like the entire screen. With uh, God damn it. Those little geysers are so annoying. Wow, that thing literally just killed me, like, single-handedly. Jesus! Okay, this is gonna be harder than I thought. So now this is usable, right? Really? These things are so annoying and spawn way too frequently, man. Alright, folks. The whole video game will be put on hold. Pardon. Whoa! That was pretty cool, right? Oh, oh yeah. That's, that's it. Those gas clouds. Where is it? Ugh, stop! It just roams, man. <laughs> that feels so bad. I feel like I shouldn't do that. It's totally, like, the definition of minding its own business. Yeah, I'm a couple of bosses. Go ahead. What just happened? She did my whole health bar all at once. Okay, well, I'd like to get over... I was about to say, I'd like to get over the nurse, but that's physically impossible when the whole screen is undodgeable. I need to zoom out is what I need to do. I keep being like... They keep just, like, coming up on me before I can see you. Because I'm still zoomed in. I literally completely forgot. Ah, oh, he's so fast! Jesus, I had literally nowhere to go! I'm gonna get risky. I'm gonna hold out until I get rage. There we are. That was way risky. I barely dodged it all, but... Hey, we live for that. Oh, uh oh Ah, I thought it was under my bridge. Ow! Oh my god, he does so much damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and she lived. What a goddamn miracle. Where are you? Oh, what hit me? I was gonna duck under the bridge. I must have got hit by a bubble or something. <laughs> Lord in heaven. Oh, it was on top of the gravestone. I thought it was a gravestone. God damn it. How is it still the eclipse? Ah, you bitch. Right when I got it. Woo! 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 Jesus! Oh my god! Whoa! Okay. No! No! God damn it! Am I a certified choke artist? Carly has died, but that means we have to win for Carly. Oh. It, I don't think... Has it ever done that before? Or am I going insane? Am I stupid? Get him, baby. That was pretty damn near flawless at the end there. I don't think I... I got hit maybe once that whole time. All right. Well, that was easily the toughest one so far. And would you believe it? I got nothing out of that exchange. Guess I'll just pivot to the brimstone elemental. She needs to be fought in the brimstone crag on the right side of the world. And it takes me way too long to learn that you can buy something that takes you straight there. I build a platform and start taking swings. This is a way more traditional kind of boss fight than the last one. Super projectile heavy and any hit sets you on fire for a little while. If you make it to phase two... Dude, she starts doing this laser thing that rocks my world every time. It's making babies. Stop. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of prep after this attempt. Because I've learned from this mod that this is going great. Uh, I'm putting zero stock in any of this. Because we're gonna get it under half, and then all of a sudden the whole screen is gonna be projectiles. Whoops. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it shoots laser. Oh! What? Damn, man, 154. There's a brimstone pile on there. Is a brimstone pile on? I didn't think that was possible because no one would want to live down here. Blood Moon, awesome. How many times in a row, man? Seriously. Oh, crags pile on. Oh, thank golly, thank gosh. I can do it while we're fighting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm bet 10k that I would win. Dumbass. <laughs> You're gonna lose all your money. Oh, if I'm out of range, it can't even reach me. Look at that. I can't reach her, but who cares? Damn. I don't really know how to dodge that because it feels like it's like a it like knows where you're going. There we go. Ah! 
Look at how much damage you've already done, bruh. Ow. La, la, la. That was so close. <laughs> that was not smart at all. All right, see ya. <laughs> Fire, that's a warning shot. Thanks. Ah! Okay, we're never trying that again. <laughs> she died. She died for nothing. You don't deserve me. Fuck. <laughs> we got her pretty low. That was pretty good. Where are you? That was that was a really unlucky spot. Those deal so much damage. Dude, this laser is like IBM Watson. <laughs> it's so it's so wise. That was dumb. I don't know if y'all saw that. That was so that was so unlucky. <laughs> Why did you not aim at me? Ah! Okay, nurse! Nurse! Kill me! Everybody's dead, and I took more damage than I had in the first place. Oh, that might put me in the grave. Those do so much damage. I'm like, kind of red. No! Oh no, I gotta deal with this shit. I gotta bust out the protract. Oh my god, that's it. That's it. I need knockback protection. So dead. How did that miss? How did that hit me? What just happened? Get him off my screen. Ah! I didn't know I could do the Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, you know what? I'm quitting. <laughs> Let's try again. Catherine, I have a huge ask here. I need you to... I need you to... Oh, I'm gonna just die of fire before I even get there. Oh my god. Where's Catherine? Did she go for a walk? Oh my god, Catherine, you threw it! Did she go to her Pilates class? Ah, oh, she died. <laughs> A solar. I don't care. These are way too common. Don't go down. I thought she was just gonna do a death drop right into my <laughs> excited face. Oh my god. Ah! Oh. oh my god, I just had a breakthrough on the lasers. And I'm embarrassed it took me that- Okay, that was unfair. Am I correct in that no NPCs will move in because it's our fourth fucking solar eclipse of this stream? I don't think that hit me. Okay. If you want something, go get it. Ah, fuck. <laughs> that was really close. Oh, no! <laughs> That sucked. I don't know what that was that just hit me. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm going to die from fire, dude. Oh, I'm alive. <laughs> Holy shit. I got to go hitless. I've said it once, said it a thousand times. We're going hitless. Yeah! And we died right after. As close as you can possibly cut it. Even though that was objectively the hardest one yet and took me the most tries, the fight was actually fun enough that I somehow never got that angry, which is refreshing. Last target on this boss rush of a stream is the Calamitas clone, which is basically a mini bullet hell with a twins rematch in the middle. For some reason, this one was the most frustrating for me in this stream, despite taking less time than either of the other ones. Ah! Oh my god, it has the attack patterns of all the little eyeballs, because I guess it's an eyeball. Oh, I already healed. <laughs> okay. We got it to half. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. This is the shit I was talking about. My siblings! Asshole, I can barely handle you alone. No! Okay, well, let's... A solar eclipse is happening. Oh, I can skip the eclipse with this. That is so handy, dude. Okay, those things are faster than I th Okay, I'd like to start over. I'd like you to kill me. I think I can do better. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna do a fresh start. Oh my God, it's a blood moon. What is happening? How many blood moons, how many solar eclipses are gonna happen, dude? I don't like any of them. Make all of them stop. What is wrong with me? Seriously, what is, what, am I stupid? All right, I'm falling apart. I'm actually not smart, <laughs> is what I'm learning from this game. That was 
super crazy. This is gonna be, I'm gonna give this attempt everything I have. That should have hit him because it was perfect and I'm perfect. All right, I blew one up. Okay, I've got both. Now I just need to get a clear, clean shot. Gotta wait for him to come at me. That's a clean. Okay. Oh, he's making babies now. Most impressive. I don't like that it's talking to me. That's cheesy. Oh, I'm breaking his babies open. There's another baby broken open. Dude, he has 145 health. Oh, I can't hit him in this phase. That sucks. I wish I knew that before diving in there with reckless abandon. Woo! Thank merciful Lord. Ugh. Three boss kills in one stream, and every single one of them was a bit of a struggle. I'm proud of myself, but also clearly not since I decided to keep streaming, even though I was already like 20 minutes over. Most of the gear upgrades I want at this point are locked behind beating Plantera, which means all there really is to do is go hunting for a Plantera spawner in the underground jungle. On the bright side, I can multitask and look for some life fruit to top my max health while I'm there. And I never killed the Queen Bee, so that'll fill in a nice gap on this trophy graphic. Lovely. I never managed to find the area I need to fight this thing in, but I do max out my health and craft a blood orange to upgrade my health even more than what it was ever possible in the unmodded game. Pretty productive stream, honestly. Plantera is still blocking progression entirely, so there isn't really anything to do at the start of Stream 7 other than keep hunting for the jungle arena. Unfortunately, it takes me another hour of searching to find this huge area that was like right below where I first entered the whole time. Oh, what is that? I, there it is! Oh, finally. God damn. Now that we have a place to throw down, I waste no time in getting a few attempts in. As with every base game boss in this mod, Plantera has been given a bunch of new tough attacks, pretty much all of them being sprays of projectiles. It takes me like five seconds to realize that moving in a little donut isn't going to cut it this time, but her little spikes and farts spawn predictably enough that if I stay in a good rhythm, it actually isn't that bad. All right, let's see if I can hold out. God, I knew if I got hit by anything, it would be something that was completely unrelated to the boss. Oh, I was about to say, caught me mid-jump. I think I'm screwed there. I really keep dashing when I, when I don't mean to, and that is a recipe for disaster. Yeah, this arena is not good. What? I am a thousand percent positive I did not dash there. I keep, I keep dashing when I'm like 1,000% not hitting a direction twice. I'm pretty confident that a little more arena prep is the only thing preventing me from beating this fight, which is a great thought. Uh, but then I spawn her again on accident, so I guess we're getting another rep in. Again, I keep... I did not dash there. Do I have to rebind dash? And then he unleashes his babies, and then it's like, okay, why even do anything ever? See, like, look, now they have babies on me. Babies on me. Now, that, now they're babies. I didn't dash! You are very quick. Oh my god! I did not dash there, dude. Wow. I was not expecting that one to work out. Thought we were going to get another um, elite choke performance. Those surprise victories are rare. So I'm going to try and savor this while I can. There are tons of ways to upgrade at this point. And the first one I'm going for is the Terra Disc. It takes me a little while to run around and gather some crafting materials, but I'm able to craft it without anything notable happening. Whoa, pretty. Okay. I learned my lesson. If you break that thing, then a boss spawns. So, hello. That should... Crafting the Terra Disc kind of marks the end of the Stealth Strike era. I found that the weapons from here on out are really solid when you just spam them and don't have Stealth Strikes that are that much stronger, so I really rarely do Stealth Strikes for like the whole rest of the playthrough. Next step is to craft the Umberfile Armor, which unfortunately requires me to trudge through another Eclipse. Got him. Oh my god, it dropped the wings! Holy shit! I, I think that's a really rare drop. I could be wrong. Alright, so this will take us from 84 defense and 522 to s only 79 defense but 546 i'm gonna trust that this is an upgrade it's definitely a visual upgrade i look awesome new outfit looks rad and it will be used for like one fight before we swap it out the next task i've got planned is to camp out in a sandstorm for a while until this huge sand shark thing shows up it's so mad it's so mad guys look at how mad he is Calm down. 
Everyone make fun of him in the chat. I'm going to the dungeon now that ectoplasm is obtainable since I need it for a ton of crafting stuff. Now I can craft the Asgard's Valor, a super strong shield that gives me a dash, some stat upgrades, and immunity to knockback in most of the debuffs in the game. I also casually craft this weapon called the Dust Storm in a bottle. Despite this looking like the jar of dirt from Fenway Park that eight-year-old me was convinced would sell for a million dollars, this ended up being my most dependable weapon for longer than any other weapon in this entire playthrough. The last last major upgrade I'm after is the Abyssal Mirror, and all I'm missing is an accessory that drops from Cuttlefish with a rate of 1 in 10. Hopefully this doesn't turn out like the i Spear Hunt did. It took me like an hour, and I had to kill like 90 Cuttlefish. I learned halfway through that it drops really commonly from Colossal Squids, so I was like, oh, okay, I'll just kill one of those. We're gonna go and we're gonna find ourselves... Ah! Jesus! So it had to be the cuttlefish. Just look. I do. We got it! Now that my lengthy gear up phase is complete, I'm ready to get back in the trenches. Next on the list is Anahita and the Leviathan, who are a team of undersea creatures that probably have an alternative rock band that does gigs at charity events. The fight starts out with just this siren thing that flies around real fast and fires music theme projectiles. But once you deal enough damage, her enormous partner rises from the sea to huck what look like giant turds at you. I don't think I even made an arena for this. I just kind of threw myself at him over and over like an actual ape. We're not even at the boss yet. I'm just struggling to make it to the boss. Did it leave? Oh. It's fetching. It's fetching it. Yeah! This is the part of the song I remember. That would make a really good song to, like, start the video off. This is so cool. Oh, that sucks. Right when that drop is. And I just realized Calamity has eight letters in it, and that part of the song has eight beats. Damn it! Again, right when I got it, I was like thinking about other shit. I don't know how good the cell strike is on this thing. Very. Okay, so let's do that a little more. <laughs> oh, he's sitting his own farts. Nice. Oh, he's above me. Oh, fuck. I'm about to die. Ah! Oh, shit. All right, well, let's... Meteor vomit. Awesome. I used rage mode and then hit maybe zero attacks and then got absolutely melted. I dodged. Damn, dude. Every time I'm right when I get adrenaline, it's like, here's an undodgeable thing. Now. It's a lot of damage. That was good. Oh, it's dead. Okay. Now I got to kill this freaking thing. Okay. Get. Stop moving. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. She listened. She actually like fully halted. Yay. Okay, we did it. Um, presents, please. Thanks, man. All right, that wasn't that bad at all. I'm kind of hitting my stride, honestly. Okay, we're getting close to the part where shit hits the fan here. I'm going straight to boss hunting on stream 8, and I want to kill the Astrum Aureus, a space spider that you fight in space land. I don't have much to say about this dude. He loves to jump and run. Loves to jump and run and shoot sometimes. Okay, this is how it always goes. I can't get too confident. Okay, let's stop going for exclusively cell strikes. Oh shit. All right, well this is this is a great first try. We're probably not going to win, but we we've learned a lot and we did a great job. Yeah. He's very quick. That was good though. We got him like a quarter health. Damage-wise, we're doing a lot better this time. This is good though. I want to go to him away. Okay. We got both of them. Oh, that would have been a perfect time to use the I got to get better at weapon switching. We did it! Wow! That was no problem at all. I thought that would be a tough one because I remember getting really frustrated by that fight. The only relevant drop from this thing is another permanent upgrade to my adrenaline meter. Golem is next in line, so I've got to navigate through the hidden temple. Not the Nickelodeon one. I don't think Revengeance Mode made any noticeable changes to this fight other than just making him shoot like 50 times more often. It's pretty chill until like a minute into the fight when you end up at Firefest. The head is down. Okay, now is when the fight actually gets really hard. Three seconds! Oh my god, my heal counter was at zero seconds when I died. I think I blocked myself off with blocks I cannot mine that were somehow in my inventory. Huh. Place three platforms onto the blocks in front of you and hammer them once. You should be able to walk through the wall. 
Wow! That's so cool! Thank you! What a bizarre glitch! Not having this geezer flying around shooting lasers at me would be uh, a huge development. Oh, I'm, I'm toast, y'all. Another unintentional dash! I gotta get a hang of this dash, man. Wow! We had a long streak there not getting hit. It, you'll never believe this, y'all, but making potions helps. The two important things here are the pick saw, a huge upgrade to my old pickaxe, and progression of the game. That is literally it. I can use my pick saw to mine scoria ore in the abyss, which combines with some other bars to make life alloys. Miracle fruit. Ding. Whoa, look at how pretty our hearts look like. Look like. All right, let's see. I almost just threw up. Let's see what's next in uh, store. Okay, the Ember File armor is going in the closet already since I can upgrade to another one. The Hydrothermic armor. Oh my god, look, I'm smoking. I'm smoking always. I'm, I'm familiar with this sensation. Hey, oh. It's because I'm attractive, is what I'm saying. Okay, well, that's done. Now I need to beat the Plaguebringer Goliath, who will kindly accompany us from Bee Sting to Wasp Sting. As usual, I give it a benchmark try to see if I'm gonna need potions and more arena work to beat this guy. It's make it's beeping and shit. Did you hear that? Also can't help but notice that I'm getting my ass beat. Ah! Now I can't see. I got cataracts. Give me cataracts. Slime has stopped falling from the sky. Dude, we're not even close. Okay, we're doing something different. Duke Fishron is also a boss we could try, and all I need is to go fishing with a mushroom worm. I have never fought this guy before, but considering that it's not a modded boss, I've got a lot of hubris running through my veins. All right, this is immediately off to a better start, so let's start with this guy. Because odds are we're going to get clocked by its second phase. I'm not doing very good damage, is what I just realized. It's blue! Oh, what the... Jesus! Oh my god! I'm, I'm boned, y'all. Shit. Ugh. I think it's smart to save up for a stealth strike, and then after his fifth dash, where he stays pretty still. Barrage. Okay, we're, we're, we're on to this part, where he starts just becoming a creature of the night. Am I hitting him? I am. It's just not making any sounds. Oh, I went early. I dashed early. That was better, though. It's raining. I don't know if that's... A, I, should I not do this fight in rain? Does rain make him stronger? Here we go. I'm so bad at aiming this because it like arcs a little bit and my brain just can't comprehend that. And then beat the fuck out of <laughs> That was good. Look at all that damage. I don't know what I was supposed to do with that. Hiya. Oh, I hit him. That was a prayer. Technically, if I time the dash just right, I'll dodge no matter where he's coming from. That time I just didn't dash. Oh, it happened again. I like my fingers locked up. They're like I got like carpal tunnel. What does the electricity one even do? I should have read that potion more before bu just like buying it. Oh Jesus! It's dead. <laughs> Yay! What did we get? We got the shrimpy truffle. Not as easy as I would have liked, but whatever, it's over. Unfortunately, I truly got nothing out of that exchange. Not even sure why I did it, honestly. Nowhere to run now. I gotta figure out this plague bringer guy. The most annoying part was honestly the prep. Slowly carving out a huge square room in the underground jungle where bees are birthed from seemingly nothing is not a very fun gaming experience, and I would not recommend it to a friend. This fight is basically just a super beefed queen bee. She doesn't have too many distinct attacks, but she moves fast enough that I had a lot of trouble stringing together streaks of not getting hit. Considering how powerful the adrenaline mode damage boost is, going a hitless for a while is extremely beneficial. For some reason, this angle dash she does absolutely blends my brain. I never really figured out a consistent way to dodge it, so I just kind of ate it most of the time. We haven't even gotten to halfway, dude. This guy's a lot of health. What is happening? Slunk in the chat. Plague nuke barrage armed preparing for launch. What does that mean? Okay, well, now I'm on fire. I have, I've gotten adrenaline twice in a row. Okay, where are you? Oh, he led the shot. Talented boy. All right, next next time I get hit, I'm probably dead. Okay, that was a good try. What did I just run into? Okay, I need to do some terrain preparation clearly because I just hit something that was like immovable down there. Oh, I think I hooked on one of those ropes. <laughs> Good damage. Oh, I totally dashed. Oh, you left right when I used it. What a damn shame. Okay, well, we got close again. 
Yeah, that was a lot of damage. Oh, I, I, I did it again. I keep raging when I should not rage. Oh, my contacts. Now is not the time, man. Oh, ah, shit. One's like going behind my eye. Damn it. Not now. Oh, God. That sucks. That was an awesome attempt. All right, we're into the second phase. Okay, that went way worse. Okay, and I think the debuff's gonna kill me. Oh, wait, I'm alive. I have like a shred of health. I'm just gonna switch to turbo mode, yeah. Okay, we're getting worse and worse every time. That sucks, man. I had I had both of them. That was like a great damage opportunity and he was sitting still, but I forgot where the V key was. I second guessed myself in the moment and had to look down for it. Oh, he's speeding up. What? That didn't hit me, you jokester. Okay, so now I gotta go hitless. All right, then I will. And I'll go hitless for the rest of I hit something again. What down there keeps stopping my momentum? I made sure it would like be a even slope. I did. I went hitless until I could heal again. Like any good boy should. Okay, I have rage. Oh, damn. That that downward diagonal dash, I still haven't figured out how to avoid. Oh, I wasted it. Every time I use rage, he goes straight into the wall. Okay, we have four seconds until we can heal. Just gotta go hitless. Again. Oh my god. I am a choke artist. I'm like the Michelangelo of sucking dick, dude. What hit me? Does anybody know what just hit me? Rage mode, and we used it at the right time. Can you fathom that? Someone's throwing a party. Jesus, can it wait, dude? That was not the time. Let me use rage on you. Let me be angry. Oh, it's healthy to... It's healthy to get your emotions out. I've just said... Fully fuck it to like stealth strikes and playing purposefully and I'm just letting it fly. <laughs> oh, close call. Yeah! Oh, we did it. He was on like a pixel of health for what felt like an hour. Okay. I really liked this fight. I thought it was cool and fun, but it's over now, so it doesn't exist anymore. This is another boss firmly in the category of that provided nothing for me except the satisfaction of a job well done. I'm choosing to cap off this stream with a try at the Empress of Light since I've never really given it a good faith effort before. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. His voice is weirdly soothing. Why does it be weird? Why can't it just be soothing? What's so weird about my voice, dude? Suck my balls, bro. How soothing was that? All right, y'all. I don't know dick shit about this fight. Well, I do know one thing, and that is that I'm going to try my damnedest. Shit, we weren't even close. Okay, I'm done. I took some time to think after last stream, and I've decided that I don't want this playthrough to take four years to finish. So instead of grinding out every boss in intended progression order, I'm now just gonna start going for the ones that are blocking progression or drop something actually useful for me. So fights like the Empress of Light and Ravager are just gonna be pushed off until I'm a good bit beefier. In this case, I can't really upgrade myself at all until killing the cultist and kicking off this stupid fucking pillar bullshit event. What's the worst that could happen? That is very hard. Pretty much just hoping he doesn't do the, the ice attack. Because that thing is busted with the, like, freeze debuff. Okay, that was good. I forgot which button I have to hit for adrenaline. So I was kind of just flying around aimlessly for a while. But this is why we do practice fights. Wow. This is night and day between last try and this try. This should do it, man. Wow, we got clocked on the last try. Oh my God. All right, asshole. I'm almost at the point where I'll finally sub out this fart bottle that has just dragged me through the last couple streams. And I get the first material I need by going beast mode on some clams. They never really put up a fight because they're clams, which feels pretty bad. Now I just need the astral ore, which is literally everywhere in star world. Problem is the solar pillar has parked its ass right where I need to be. So I have to deal with that first. There's another mel blob over there, y'all. I just got a mel blob. <laughs> Any guesses? 
as to where these meld blobs are coming from and what they have anything to do with anything. Whoa! Once that's all taken care of, I'm clear to mine some of the ore. I can't mine it. I, it's, I can't. I'm not allowed. Turns out I need to beat the Astrum Deus to get to the ore, so that's the next target. It's been a while since we had a worm fight. I don't do very well against worms. Keep that in mind for later. We're doing awesome damage. Our weapon, it seems, excels at, at worms because it passes through like the cloud. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> wow. It was like the coldest. We just obliterated that with the like, we did, we, again, we went hitless. Stream nine is the God Gamer stream. You cannot stop me. You can only hope to contain me. Anyways, the next boss fight will forcibly shove me into Tarantula Hawk zone. Maybe even Bullet Ant, honestly. Use a chart of some notable fights so far and how many tries they took me. Uh, and then here's the next one. Whatever. We'll get there in a second. First, I'm going to make the Radiant Star weapon thing I was talking about earlier. Okay, folks, I have never beaten the Moon Lord without cheesing it or getting carried. And that includes normal mode. This is a boosted version of expert mode, which is a boosted version of normal mode. So I've been really dreading this fight since the conceptualization of this playthrough. But I can't run away anymore. I'm as geared up as I can be and it's blocking all the upgrades. Have to do the pillars first though. There we go. Pumpkin move makes me wanna kill myself. Okay. Well, I think it's a great time. Okay. Done. Yay. With that last pillar kill, it's only a matter of time before this massive idiot pulls up to function. Besides just being huge and always chasing you, this guy turns your entire screen into projectiles. Everything is danger zone. Most of them can be dodged by just running real fast and jumping and dashing when applicable. They do mad damage, so it's just a matter of avoiding shit as usual. What fries my brain, though, is this mega laser thing he does. From now on, like half the boss fights in this game are going to have one of these mega lasers, and they all move at a thousand miles an hour. And they all cover your whole screen and they all hit like a freight train. The only consistent way I worked out to avoid it is to be above his top eye when it fires. So you can just pick a direction to dash when it comes out. But watching out for it and getting in position in time when there's shit flying everywhere is torture for my person eyes. We can try this guy as many times as we want. So the disc, 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 fragment. <laughs> I don't what it's called. What do I do there? Oh my god. What do I do there? I'm not gonna waste a healing potion on that try. What do I do, man? It's my whole screen. I literally have defeated gods. That tiny lip in the ground. 304 damage and it's your whole screen. What am I supposed to do? Quit? Oh, Jesus! Reacting fast would... Ugh, game over. Oh, he did it at, like, a nice angle. Okay, so if he does that, we're fine. Oh, damn. He's about to do it. His eye made a little sprite. Okay, so I just gotta keep my eyes on his eye. Coward. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. This looks really unceremonious and crude, but this is how I'm gonna drill in. It's like rote memorization. I just gotta drill into my... Oops. I just gotta drill into my brain until I... I start to understand. <laughs> okay, we live. We live. We live. Whoops. I don't even know what hit me. You gonna learn today. Okay. No! Accidental dash. I gotta stop doing that. That's been a problem this whole game. All right. Wow, we activated rage and adrenaline at the same time. That's actually unprecedented. Oh. Oh, I got one of his hands. This is the first I've ever gotten. I got another hand. Oh, well, now I gotta deal with his middle eye that's never open. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, well, we are improving. Maybe even though my first time. I'm gonna throttle you. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, we looked hands down. Okay, the middle eye, man, has so much health. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's good damage. 50-50. Uh, it wasn't actually 50-50 because he took too long. Oh, which way is it gonna be? Oh, perfect! Yeah, I've already got I need to take down that hill. What just hit me 8,000 times? 
I've had multiple attempts where I don't get hit for the first time until two minutes in. And I just got hit like 35 times. Okay, well, we've taken down the mountain. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I don't know if landing on this thing... Because I feel like resetting my flight is going to be important with like dodging the lasers and stuff. So, yeah. I don't know, y'all. Baby doesn't want to be alive anymore, if I'm being frank. I have... Oh. Everyone is dead. They all died. I guess it's marginally better than dying one by one. Shit, man. If it isn't the exact thing I knew would happen. Bumping my god- What even hit me? Bumping my goddamn head. Oh, but it's so pretty. Well, this just makes me sad. I'll at least shave the bottom of it. Okay. Oh. I have Right. Go is right and then dash. We were fucked, man. I don't know if we're ever beating this guy, y'all. I've never, I've never beaten this guy since seventh grade, and I am twenty. We got two of the hands down. This is our best try yet. Now we just gotta work on that, uh, that middle eye. Okay, we have another adrenaline. Oh my god, it's cores open! Holy shit! That's so mean. I didn't even get to finish the sound effect. Oh, I'm sure you got it. Yeah! That's called game sense! I felt it in my bones. Um, the amount of, like, his health bar on the heart and the health bar at the bottom of the screen are, uh, completely different values. Which to me suggests that even when I finally break his heart, there is more. Literally left field. A great try. I think I'd be madder if I thought that breaking the heart would end the fight. Clearly it doesn't, because I don't know if you saw that thing's health bar. I decided I wanted to try stealth Okay. Alright. What the fuck just happened? Why are you still here? Do you still hurt me? 161 damage and four hours of fire. Not every try has to be perfectly optimized. You can just do it for practice. Oh, yeah. That's We're getting worse every time, if it's possible. I just need the satisfaction of hitting quit. There's nothing more cathartic than a rage quit. I instantly feel so much better. Planet. I mean, the, the cloud thing. Oh, and now I'm floating. Yeah. This fucking cloud, dude. I might really have to blow it up. I hate that, though. It's so pretty. Oh my god, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Dude. Ugh, how are we getting worse every time? This is the most frustrating part. I want to feel like I'm improving. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm gonna break my desk. Again! Okay, up, up. <laughs> it's like this video is of the, of the moms trying to teach their baby how to swim. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? Where they'll just push them into like an open like wa body of water and then just start snapping their fingers. Going up, 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 up. The cloud! Oh my god. I just lost where I was on the screen, man. Yeah, and every attack uh, bleeds you dry for an hour and a half. Yup, and I'm on fire. This is not fun. This is the least fun gaming experience I've ever had. I get so much more frustrated playing games on stream than off stream because I my brain like visualizes all the comments of people being like, You fucking suck. You're not even good. I beat on my first try and I'm 11. How many real friends? <laughs> How many real friendships do you have? What happened? Genuinely, I'm so curious. What What is going on? I like can't do it anymore. I haven't even been at this for an hour, and I've uh, and I've completely fallen apart. Very tough to follow where I am. I think I'm gonna be glad. That's it. Oh, never mind. I'm stuck. <laughs> That's so annoying. That's so stupid. One platinum to heal? Did you see that? She charged me a platinum to heal. Is that a mod change? I don't remember that ever being the case. Okay, we have rage, so I'm gonna use it. Just fuck it. 
All right, we're back to this wacky, like, joke health bar. I love pranks in my boss fights. Like, little bars that don't actually mean anything. It's my favorite part. Damn, dude. That's a lot of things on my screen. Ow. Okay, he's about to do a laser beam. Uh, did I do it? Did I just win? No, no, I don't trust this at all. The health bar was just a glitch? Fuck you, dude. It was a brutal grind, but we have finally beaten the final boss of Terraria on Revengeance mode. I am truly so proud of myself for reaching the end of this game. Well, the end of the regular game, there are like 15 more bosses, all allegedly way harder than this guy. The biggest rewards for my win, besides just progression, are some Luminite Ore and another permanent accessory slot. The other like 12 weapons I got are all getting sold for cash. The first thing I do is combine my speed shoes and wings into the Celestial Tracers, which will open up another accessory slot. I can also make the Elemental Disc, which is going to be the main man for like one and a half streams. I'm going to need a ton more Luminite for all my crafting, and instead of making you beat that guy like like five more times like the base game would. Calamity Mod has mercifully added huge clusters of the ore that spawn in space for me to mine. The next armor set I'm crafting is the Empyrean armor. It is very strong and makes me look like a weird bug, Poncho. The next boss to beat is the Profaned Guardians, and this game just refuses to give me a little to catch my breath and clean up my pudding. Here's the attempts chart so far. You want to see this next one? Whoop! There it is. I gotta gather stuff to make the spawner and prep an arena before I settle nicely into the trenches again. Oh my god, it's the sun. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! That's my screen! I'm gonna zoom out so I can see you better. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. None of my attacks are making any noise. Maybe you think I'm not doing damage. Ah, oh, fuck! Is every boss now gonna have one of those damn lasers that covers the whole screen? Look at that health bar. What do you mean in Halo or the Underworld? How could you ever have enough space? Oh, the rock thing is, doesn't come for you. Oh, you don't have to outrun it. It just like paces you. Oh no. Yeah, well, it's as I feared, man. I'm like at my limit skill-wise and this mod's only gonna get harder and harder. Okay, so there are three of them. First, you have to kill the pink one because it heals its friends. After that, it's a total crapshoot. I genuinely never figured out what was going on. Just kind of aimed at whatever was brightest on my screen. The killers in this fight were the newest edition of Mega Laser and the fact that most of their attacks are weirdly, like, really transparent. I've already got chronic problems with my eyes, so I had a very hard time seeing what I was supposed to dodge. Also, this guide I read online said to move in tight circles, which I feel is total bullshit. The only way I was eventually able to consistently avoid these attacks was by ignoring that fully and just running in a really long stretch straight line. I got adrenaline, y'all. That's dumb always. Sigh, dude. You've been at like zero health for a year. Okay, I think I got it. Wow! Was that a giant worm? No. Okay, well now I don't even know what's going on, which I did do. There I go. Dude, what the fuck? This is so hard. The laser attacks are unfair across the board. Yeah. Someone please enlighten me. I didn't, I didn't even know you could hit me that frequently. I thought normally, where are all my invisibility frames? Look at how many we still have. Look at all of these, dude. Look at all of these. Are you going to laser soon? No, I just have to suck on it. Like, what do I do, man? What is hitting me? I can't see what's hitting me in this fight. I really, truly can't. I don't know if that's just me. Again, eat that. There's two of them, so I can't dodge it above. Wh uh, wh uh, how do you do? How do you avoid that? Lasers just stop before they touch each other. 
Okay, let's let's see if I can dodge that even once. That would be that would be some progress. Okay, so yeah, like I, I know that it's coming. Man, that is a stupid attack. How much? I don't know. I don't know. I am so depressed right now. At least I have a rage mode that I'll never get to die before yet. Mm, seems like you're really upset. Oh my god, you're a genius. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> in a bad mood now. Stay in the middle, please. Oh my god. Oops. Oh, whatever, dude. There was just a bomb on the ground. Taking a brief break to go back and beat the Ravager since it drops a permanent rage mode upgrade that I didn't know. It also gets us another relic for our little chart here, of course. All right, well, that was nice. I guess back to work. You know what's happening? Baby's going outside the hallow and they're enraging. Oh my God, adrenaline and rage at the same time. She left. All right, here we go. Up, up, up. Yay! That's the first time I've ever dodged that attack. I feel like this would be more satisfying if they made a noise when you hit him. Okay, one of them is down. I'm gonna die instantly. But I did get one of them. That's the first time I've done that in a while. My eyes drying out. Ah! Okay, I killed it though right when it killed me. So I did get it down to only one of them. You know, I have that little aura thing. Oh, it's all falling apart. Oh my God, oh my God. Heal me. What is happening? Did I remember to set my spawn? Does this fight break if you try and like teleport somewhere? I'm trying to remember the thing about how like a monkey, if you give a monkey a typewriter, it'll eventually like write Shakespeare. Outside the hello again. I didn't mean to be. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. I can't tell if this one it actually might be helpful to have this. Yeah, see, I don't know what I was supposed to do there. I feel like that never happened on that one try where I got that far, where it just latches onto you and then it's like, Game over. You should quit. Oh, oh no. Oh. I went into a pit. <laughs> okay. I'm getting the hang of that laser. Gotta be low. It's dead! Okay, now it's just this guy. Okay, now he's lunging at me like an angry mother. Whoa, it made a meteor. I can't tell what's hitting me on this one. I think I'm missing some projectiles. As far as I can tell, it should just be the fireballs. Wow, he just death dropped onto me. Okay, well, we were close. Even though this, it seems dumb to get that close and then end stream. I think it's realistically as high of a note as we're gonna have. There is literally nothing to say at the start of this stream. We've passed on. That was super unfair. I just want to say. That was a pretty sweet little maneuver there. I'm pretty... Oh. Oh, laser. Ah. I couldn't tell... Wh I can't tell where they start. Okay, I'm dead next time I get hit. All right. <laughs> okay, we did it. We got one of them down. Whoa! Damn. Oh my god. Okay, it's gonna dash at me. Yeah, you predictable asshole. Okay, we're on to the last phase. I'll be with like zero health, so we're not gonna last very long. But exciting that we got to this point regardless. Whoa! All right, well, we did good. If we cover this in Halo, then we can run all the way along here. Bingo. So... Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's something about things lighting on fire silently in the background of something that is so much funnier than things lighting on fire making noise. Because if something lights on fire and it's like making noise, it's like, oh my god, oh no, something's on fire. This is terrible. That's gonna do like it's gonna be so damaging to that person's home. But when like those of you who haven't seen that video, 
It's basically just this, just this woman wishing you a Merry Christmas in, I think, Spanish. Um, and in the background, her Christmas tree just, like, silently lights on fire. And just the fire just gets bigger and bigger until it's basically a flamethrower pointed at the ceiling. I think part of the reason for that is how much uh, 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 Spongebob I watched growing up. And how much I loved Spongebob. And how much it influenced my sense of humor. Because so often, in especially older SpongeBob, SpongeBob episodes, like, a big running gag in that show is that shit will just explode. Solar eclipse is happening! But why? There was that huge trend on TikTok where ev like 800,000 people were coming out of the woodwork making videos about like, here's why I should be your comfort streamer. And they were all just the same fucking person. It was like 8,000 videos of, of, of someone, some like chaotic Minecraft streamer being like, here's why I should be your comfort streamer. And they always made some kind of joke about arson. All the bitches love arson, specifically the word arson. I was like, I love arson. There were like several buzzwords that they would all use in their videos advertising their Twitch stuff. They'd always talk about arson and how they love arson. Some, there was always tax evasion. For some reason, those people are so enraptured by the concept of evading taxes. Some about orphans. Everyone would be like, oh my God, that's a dark humor. Let's spawn it in over here. Okay, it went on the side I didn't want it to go on. But we're gonna spawn it over here, and now I can just run. Look at this, dude. I'm just running. Damn, dude. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize it died. I was just like, that's that, that's being overly aggressive. Oh, my God. He was, like, on top of me. Did we kill it? Oh, my God. All right, we killed that thing in, like, four seconds. I always say this, but I really wish they made noises when you hit them. Because it makes it much more satisfying. Back beast. Okay, he's out from the shield. This is when we can do mad damage. We got him. Damn. Okay, good damage. Oh, he's gonna death drop onto me. This is how it always goes when I get down to like the, 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 the end of it. Oh, look at that health, man. Brutal. Oh, it's about to do the laser. Ay! Okay. Cloud! Oh, see, I ran into that little notch on the cloud. Oh, am I on the last phase? Oh my God, I am. I, I, how did I kill that thing so fast? Oh, again, I, I did rage mode when it dashed at me like by pure chance oh my god that's like my whole screen dude oh i hit that little notch in the sand then it stopped me from running last time the, the first phase of last fight we crushed i don't think we took damage the whole first phase good damage i don't know what hit me but oh, okay i'm about to get off crazy damage on this guy yeah okay he's down we're on to the last phase Oh no! That sucks! That totally sucks. Okay, that's alright, we got rage mode. Finish him off, please! Yes! Oh my god. <sighs> ah. It's over. Did it not drop anything? Was that an optional fight? Oh my fucking god, please don't tell me that was optional. It didn't even give me a relic, dude. Oh, here it is. Profane Garlean, Garlean, Profane Guardian Relic, and I got a Profane Core. Summons Providence when used in the Hallow or Underworld. It's finally over, and I get no reprieve. No upgrades can be made. It drops nothing that helps me. My only reward for that is the ability to fight another hard boss. I'm gonna do what's best for my brain and body and take a mental health break. In fact, a lovely little hall in which to display my collection of relics is long overdue, so I'm gonna take the next hour or so to build that. All right, top row is modded, bottom row is base game, and the final three relics are eventually gonna adorn an opulent fountain in my front lawn. Now, before I get back to the grind, I'm gonna do some backtracking to grab any relics I've passed up so far. There's our relic. So we got our, uh, oh, and there's our other relic. Never mind, I guess just a chance. Okay, we got a uh, pumpkin, oh, that, those are the only ones we need. Okay, well, there's a relic. Drop a relic, please. Amazing. Okay, now I just need the Christmas tree. Relic. Thank you. We're done. 
Bye. All right. I did it. Okay, so can I just like... All right, another one down. There's Dark Mage. Relic, please. This thing does a lot of damage. I mean, it has a lot of health. Okay, cool. All right, I killed that thing. <laughs> we did it. Please don't die. Now run away. Yes. Okay, well, now I actually have to do the rest of the event, unfortunately. Cragmaw Meyer. Where? Oh. All right. Oh. Oh, my God. I'm being annoying. It's dead. Okay. Um. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, my goodness. Guys, we're so close. Yet so far. I'm, there's a good chance that these last fights take significantly more than everything up to this point combined. Before finally facing Providence, I'm going to kill Dragon Folly just for the rage mode upgrade. Not much to talk about with this one. Just going to let the footage roll. Stop having kids, dude. It's not economically advisable. Oh, that guy was... Oh! Okay. Yeah. HelloFresh has these little, like, sour cream pouches that come in the meals. And those... They're, first of all, they're sour cream bangs. Second of all, those little pouches... I want to eat them the way you eat those popping candies that were huge on TikTok. Where you just put it in your mouth and just like... This is so much better already. That was really, really, really mean the way you did that. Oh! Jesus, take the wheel! Okay. Dude, that is brutal. That attack, I don't understand at all. What do I do? Oh! My god. Oh! My god! Don't! Oh, I thought it was gonna follow me all the way to the ceiling and then death drop me. Oh! Ah! Oh my god, that felt endless, dude. Thank the lord. Fourth try. Fourth time's the charm. So that's all neat and tidy, and now I am literally as prepared as possible for this fight. At least to my knowledge. There's gonna be some adaptation in there with buttons. You'll see. It's whatever. Wow! Okay. Providence enrages at night, so we need to do this whole fight during the daytime. She is enormous, but doesn't deal contact damage, so it's just the projectiles and mega laser that I need to look out for. That being said, this one was hard as balls. This haggard bitch will light you on fire for like a year if you sniff one of her fireball things. She's spewing out all the time forever. Plus, if I do enough damage, she'll bring back her stupid friends for me to kill again. Genuinely pretty fun fight, honestly. I just wish I could see the bullets. Whoa, daggers. Daggers. Is this the dagger? Okay, well, this is already going way better than our first try at um, the, the Guardians. There I am. Oh! Oh, it's blue! Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whoa! Your attacks are all very pretty. God damn it. Five seconds until I can heal. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, whatever. Ah, oh, that is really tough. Now we actually have to go hitless pretty much. So I will. If that's what I need to do, then that's what I'll do. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. That actually startled me. I didn't see those things. See, this might be a long-term good idea, but it would have like a steep learning curve. wonder if it would be good to like map different buttons to dash. But yeah, we've been doing double tap a direction to dash this whole time. But when I'm trying to do like fine movements, because like a lot of those attacks, you have to like really kind of feather the movement button to like weave it around, but you can't like tap, tap or you'll dash. Dash, double tap, override. Shift. Have I just not noticed that or is that the first time that's ah, happened? Yeah. I could also put dash onto one of the buttons on my mouse, like adrenaline and healing are right now. So yeah, that was not it. We're hitless so far. Pretty incredible. Oh, it was way higher that time. This will literally, I was about to say this will be the dagger. Literally. Yeah. Ran out of flight time because of that whack-ass mechanic. She demolished my wings. Why? That is so st unbelievable. And how I can't avoid that attack if my wings are half as powerful as they're supposed to be. I don't even know. Yeah. Oh, look. It's because blah, blah, blah burns, your, burns away at your blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. Uh, how do you avoid that laser with the wing handicap? If you get Rod of Discord... 
Throw it in shimmer. I don't know what that is. Oh, what fun it is to ride. All right. Um, let's go get the <laughs> rod of discord. So now I can, eh. And then I, I, I can only do it so often. Relocator. Caps lock. That's tab, you dumbass. Like I need to get there. I can be like, oh, oh. Okay, that's really helpful. I bind relocator to middle mouse. So my mouse hand is the one thinking about it. That's really smart. Now, I can dash with my mouse. I can, I can teleport with my mouse. Okay, we're about to get adrenaline. Let's lock up here. Don't hit the little goops. Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! No fair! I knew there was gonna be some bullshit phase. And here I am thinking I'm actually kind of getting close. This damn mod and it's bullshit boss phases. Once they get below one third health. Now it can do skateboard tricks too. Whoa! Oh my God. Cannot even see what's hitting me. Whatever! Now they're homing! Wow! We've entered the phase of boss fight where I start to unravel. Oh no. Whoa, what, whoa, what just happened? I, w I was looking at it. I had a full meter of wings. Does teleporting suck up your wing meter? <laughs> my first thought was, here comes the laser. Then my thought was, I'm holding down spacebar, but I'm not flying for some reason. Then my thought was, I'll just teleport and then I can start flying. And then I didn't. I just teleported and I just fell, even though I had wing meter and was holding spacebar. If you like get in like a car accident or something, but I get the relic, that's fine. Oh my god! Okay, below half. That means now all her attacks are suddenly like a nuclear bomb that you just have to eat up and say thanks for the meal, mommy. Just leave me alone! Ah! Okay, I need a green sparkle like I need air to breathe, man. Fuck you! Whoa, that was pretty slick. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Oh no, it's nighttime! Damn it, that's so unfortunate! 312. Here we go. Yay! I got the green one. I'm getting better with the uh, teleport stick. <laughs> that was a total prayer. Kill it! Okay, the healer's down. This sandstorm is, is bogus. I can't see the, the things I'm supposed to be avoiding. I don't know how long my bridge goes in... That is so unbelievably frustrating. Y'all, I get it. I'm not at the end of the game yet. <laughs> this is nothing. Just let me be frustrated without immediately being like, I'm better than him. I'll try and... Thanks. Oh my God. Okay, brother. Brother, seriously. I have like one second of... I can't fly anymore. Uh, this wings debuff is so unfair. I hate it. Oh, it's nighttime. All right, I just have to kill myself. Okay. Thanks. Right when I got rage, and I was like, yay, now I can do rage and adrenaline. Oh, well, shit. Damn it. That really, that was so unlucky. I don't think that hit me, but that's fine. I love video games. Okay, let's... Never in this video game has E been my dash button. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with my brain? I think I'm actually shutting down. I just tried to hit E to dash, which has never been the case. Surprised you're not in rage mode right now, Thurm. I'd be so angry and I would rage quit. Dude, <laughs> have you not noticed that I'm extremely angry? <laughs> if I wasn't angry, I wouldn't be whining this much. Mm, mm -hmm. I can't find myself on the screen when there are a thousand things everywhere! Uh, oh! I can't see. Yes. Come back. I need to hit you. This is like my only way of dealing damage. Ah, damn it. Oh my God. I got hit so many times in such a quick succession that just like wrecked my whole. Oh no. Whatever with that bullshit. How did my dumbass brain never think of this? Why not just teleport to the other side of the laser so they don't converge on me? Rage and adrenaline. Rage and adrenaline. And of course she's gonna fly away. God damn it. Okay, here we go. This bullshit. 
Oh my god. Healer. Healer is down. Green. I got it. It burned my wings away. Whatever! They're both so low. Oh my god. Oh my god. How many times? Please! Oh my god, I'm so uneasy right now. I'm like fidgeting my ass off. Rage mode! How are you not dead? Yes! Wait, what? It's over. I thought it was about to enter a new phase. Oh! I almost just threw up. Yeah! This is a similar victory to the Moon Lord in terms of how many doors for progressions and upgrades just opened. Three, two, one. We did not get it. We did not get the weapon. I don't care if people view this as cheating because it does kind of feel like cheating. Um, I'm not doing that again. I'm sorry. Like, I know this is this is really, really, really cheesy what I'm doing right now. Like, soup. 25 platinum. I cannot afford that. So I'm opting to beg for cash on the streets rather than take the time to beat the thing again, which I think is the sane choice here. I'm not showing any of this. It is literally footage of me just slumping the queen slime like 50 times. No. <laughs> we got summon magic ranged melee. Taking a quick break for health reasons and to gather some Eula Bloom ore from the jungle, which exists now. I can use that to make another permanent health upgrade, the Elderberry. More importantly, though, I'm able to craft the Tarragon armor, which will be used for literally one fight. A weapon that I can get without the Providence treasure bag is the Wave Pounder, which unfortunately requires that I go through that whole schematic process again. Okay, now I'll get back to raising funds, doing bake sales. All right. Wow. So that's a time bomb. Please. We got it. We got one. It's the Molten Amputator. Now we're sufficiently geared up for Poltergast, which we're going to fight in the dungeon. Next time I'm done. <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. Poltergast is basically a beefed up Plantera. So my first idea was just to roam around the dungeon tunnels because I figured the walls might block the attacks and it would just spend the whole time catching up. What I failed to consider is that uh, it's a fucking ghost and going through walls is kind of their whole deal. So my first try, I get absolutely melted. That being said, this fight is genuinely not that hard. It is just very long. In terms of playing enjoyment, this is probably my least favorite fight in this mod. The attacks are fine. It's pretty dodgeable if you just roam in circles. What kills me is how long it takes to deal damage to this guy. He has so much health and it just takes absolute ages to whittle away. Wow, second try. That was a really, really long fight, but also weirdly easy in terms of dodging. I get my last permanent adrenaline mode upgrade and plenty of handy crafting materials out of that exchange. The Tarragon armor has already outlived its usefulness, and now I'm making the Blood Flare armor, which is all about survivability and defense. Next little task is to kill Providence again, but in the underworld, since she drops a really strong shield if you do that. However, this gal will not give me a break even for a second, so I'm pivoting to gathering stuff I need for the Abyssal Diving Suit, which lets me finally explore to the very bottom of the abyss. Abyssal diving gear. Abyssal diving suit. Look at how lengthy this description is. Holy shit. There's an acid rain event going on, which gives me a convenient opportunity to grab a couple more relics. We killed each other. Look at how much of a difference that makes, because I was trying to fight it in its natural habitat like a moron. The reason I wanted that diving suit is to find Reaper Sharks, which have a couple really good weapon drops I want. The first kill drops the Valediction, a really good thrown weapon, which I ignore for some reason. Uh, Terminus activates boss rush mode. Nope. How many bits have you gotten this week on Twitch? That is a weird thing to ask a person. Um, zero, but that's fine. I'm not like... 
I can't. There's really no way for me to answer that question without me sounding like I'm begging for money. So that's the best I've got. <coughs> I keep choking on almond shreds. And then I find what I'm really after on the second kill, a deep sea dumbbell. This is the primary weapon my guide suggests, and it fully relies on a weapon-specific mechanic. Each time you right-click while holding the weapon, you flex, increasing your damage output dramatically. And you'll never believe this, but I didn't notice that <laughs> in the weapon description, so I just played through this whole mod thinking this weapon sucked and I got pranked. Now I'm feeling equipped to take down Providence in Hell, which is gonna give my shield a huge upgrade. The next step is to kill a set of three bosses that apparently are servants of some worm or something. I don't fully have a grasp on any of this. People in chat just keep trying to tell me the significance of these things. I thought these would be super chill and instead I got violently frustrated at two of them. The last one was fine. First one I'm doing is the ceaseless void in the dungeon. This guy's bullshit mechanic is that if he hits you, you float around aimlessly with no control of your body for a little while. I hate that. I really do. I think it's stupid to intentionally remove control from the player to that extent. I don't care if it sounds like I'm whining. I just don't like getting thrown into a night terror every time this dude bumps me with his magic wand. Wow! I can't take any more. Oh, please. Please stop. Oh my lord in heaven. Help! Damn it! Oh my god. I can't control myself! I'm getting. Th Where? I'm just getting thrown about. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god! Stop throwing me everywhere! I don't understand! I just got adrenaline and rape. Please! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop throwing me down! I thought it would at least draw me towards him like the way that the particles are seeming to argue. I can't move! That was the most unfun boss fight I've ever done in my life. I hated that one, and I never want to do it again. Now for the worst one we've had in a while. This fight bordered on bullet ant territory for me. There is a fight coming up that took almost double the amount of time and attempts that this one did, but in terms of mood, it genuinely was never as bad as this. I can deal with failure a lot better when I like the fight. Stormweaver, though, will sometimes just smite you from the skies. Getting struck by lightning does not feel good, especially because it often feels pretty much undodgeable. I do not like having to fight a boss and also worry about dying from an act of God. What probably irritated me even more than getting struck by lightning though was the fact that this guy sometimes moves so erratically that it borders on built-in lag. I'd like to be able to know where my enemy is going so I feel like I have some level of control and the fact that Mr. Man can rearrange his spine if he's feeling up to it makes me want to waterboard myself. I hope you enjoy this next bit because I sure as hell did not. Oh, it's tail. I have to hit its tail. Okay, I just gotta get it in, in a... In a Why are these so hard? 35 seconds. Wow. The snow totally fucked me. This is when it becomes very evident that streaming is my job. <laughs> ah! Why? How am I supposed to dodge an instantaneous lightning strike? That was good. I got hit by lightning again. Oh! What is a fellow to do? He does this attack so frequently. What? I just need to not get hit for about 50 full seconds. Right. Taking a break. Taking a breath. Okay. Let's take a breath. Let's take a quick breath. Let's take a quick breath. Oh! Do not! I'm stuck! Oh my god, what did I get stuck on? How is that possible? I was stuck such that I couldn't jump or move. Is it because there were little ramps in it and I like glitched into it? I forget the term, but there's that glitch with the ramps. Did that just happen? That was the attempt, man. And instead I just got glitched into a wall. This game really knows how to make me feel like a winner. All right. I, I, 
Let's do a breath. Let's do another breath. Video games are meant to be an escape from reality. I just feel like I'm a ticking time bomb and any second I could actually break something on my desk and I don't want that to happen because the stuff on my desk is expensive. But I'm very emotionally compromised, so who, <laughs> who knows what'll happen? Oh. School stuff. Uh, being sick. Getting my wisdom teeth taken out. I think all are probably preferable to uh, continuing to play this game right now. Stop spawning inside of me! It's not fair! Christmas Eve, I should be spending time with my family. I got struck by lightning again. Like, why? He was facing a separate direction. Please. Like, what the fuck? Genuinely, like, do you guys see what I'm talking about? I want to quit so bad. Like it is with this damn fight. I got struck by lightning. Guess I guess I was a bad boy for Christmas. That's it. Yeah. I just want some indication of how to improve, but there, there aren't any because this fight is a fucking slot machine. Welcome to the jungle. You've reached the voicemail box of Lucas Bowman. Attention. Attention. Sound the alarm. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Ah! Like, he just changed his direction at will. I was doing really well for myself health-wise health, health -wise there, and then I got struck by lightning like four times. Five times! That's an attack that I can foresee and avoid. And now he's on my ass. I don't know. I don't know the, 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 with the lightning. I don't. I don't know how to predict where it's going to come because it's like real lightning. Uh, it's fucking lightning. You can't dodge a lightning strike. They don't teach you when they're teaching you about storm safety in elementary school. They're not like, just jump and use your dash. It's like, ah, oh, no, it's a lightning. And it kills a lot of people. What do I do, man? This is unlearnable. It's a total roulette. Also, quick editor's note that I <laughs> forgot to mention. I had completely forgotten I was working through an actual ulnar nerve disorder at the time in my left hand. So excessive finger movement caused a lot of pain, numbness, and discomfort. I don't know how I didn't complain about it at the time, but it took me until the end of the stream to be like, by the way, guys, I'm in extreme pain. So that was really adding to this whole bouquet of hate. I really want to quit. I really want to quit. I really, really want to never play this again, ever, ever, for the rest of my life would actually make my day. But I want to pay my college tuition, so... Weapon. I worked so hard to avoid him. Just to get stuck in his taint. <laughs> we need to win his Christmas spirit. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Christmas is about giving and, and, and goodwill. What about this has anything to do with Christmas? I'm actively wanting to die. I don't think that's Christmas spirit. I'm done. I'm done for the day. I'm done. I'm clocking out. And so I logged off, desperately trying to cheer up and be with my family on Christmas Eve. We're really getting down to it now, folks. Just need to take care of this last servant. His name is Cygnus, and he was really nice. I like Cygnus. Wow! Wow! Third try! That was straight fucking magic, man. Is this another? Yeah. Yep. That's a, that's a book. I'm not reading that. Okay. I'm sure a lot of like Terraria Calamity stands are going to be like, Precious lore wasted. I'm not reading that, dude. Now is when script writing becomes a lot easier. And that's because nothing new happens for the next four hours. The next four hours are reserved for this guy comfortably at the top of my attempts chart unopposed oh what's that oh my gosh wow look at that we're moving on up to bullet ant the devourer of gods is a huge worm that dashes at light speed shoots lasers and little calculus patterns i don't know and absolutely shatters my kneecaps with his stupid fucking bullshit laser walls all i learned about this fight is that you should stay on the ground when the sky is blue and fly around when the sky is purple the rest is up to the good lord above. I'm just gonna super cut the next four hours, if y'all don't mind. Oh, he's talking to me in the chat. This isn't Omegle, dude. There goes, like, all of my health, actually. <laughs> Why'd I go that way? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh! Don't get cocky. You shouldn't be able to talk. 
Wow, that is some like linear algebra shit. I thought that balloon was like a projectile. What the fuck? What is that huge? What is that? Oh, it was just a weird glitch. Uh oh, that's the sun, and I don't, I don't trust it. Whoa! It's not over yet. I figured your health bar is at half, you dingus. You didn't do a very good job of hiding that. I have 10 seconds until I can heal. Got the shot. Okay, that was only like our third try. Purple background means gravity is more floaty. Blue background means gravity is slightly stronger. And that has crawl to peed AI. I mean, it accelerates rapidly if you're in the air. All right, we got it to the second phase again. Okay, that's mean. I didn't know you could shoot little bullets. Oh, that's literally how I died last time. I should have learned. Oh, I just bled to death. All right. Oh, I knew it. That would be a great time to go heal if we had a nurse in a, a good spot, which we do not. All right, let's try to survive for more than like 0.5 seconds this time. Oh my God. Ah! No! God damn it. The dragon guy took me two tries. Are you the same person who was flexing in my last Calamity stream being like, yeah, I beat this one really easily. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. Never was. Oh my God. My arm. <laughs> I have 40. What? That felt like total luck. I do not feel accomplished for dodging that. Don't get cocky. You should not be using the chat function. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like a teacher during COVID school. Why are we populating the chat function? Everyone, we should not be using the chat function. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm gonna bleed. Oh. I did not mean to do that, but it looked really cool. The opposite way. That time he didn't. I fat fingered it by accident. Wow, 530 damage. I am like screwed up. Like my eyes. <laughs> Looking at this fight for so long. I like went upstairs to get water and like the floor looked pink. What is going on? All right, that was, this is our best attempt yet. All right, if we get hit by the head, our attempt's over no matter how good we did in the first phase. So I'm on the ground. Oh my God, he bit me again. I can't teleport. Dash. <laughs> I forgot I can do that. I forgot to do the thing. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, I forgot there was more. Oh, I bled to death. What the? F I think he's broken. Okay, maybe if I go over there. I just got hit by something. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> That's so annoying. It took away my adrenaline. I'm very low on health. I forgot to hit R. <laughs> Again. That wasn't fair. We're starting over. Hit the R key when the laser grid shows up. I don't even know where I am, man. It showed up when I was in the middle of nowhere and they come out so fast. Okay, we just need to literally once survive that laser grid attack without it being a total fluke. <laughs> the only times I've dodged that, it was just pure luck. So I gotta get, I gotta get that down. R! I don't know where they are! Why are we doing new things? Wow. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. We can also just tank it. That's the other option. Dude, this laser grid shit is actual baloney. I, I promise I hit the dash button there. I'm actually truly confused. Okay, running away from the laser beams did not work last time. Oh, man. Drop straight down. Oh, don't. Okay, we avoided one laser wall, and it was because it only had vertical ones. That is not where you said it would be. Okay, typically I'm just super whiny when I'm mad, but I actually had a point there. I'm gonna play this in slow motion. Okay, and then I'm gonna overlay these. Yeah, that's literally just incorrect. It just fucked me. That was false advertising. I'm gonna bleed to death. Oh my god. Epic Games, Fortnite, Rocket League, Epic Games. 
Please, no! I hit dash like an hour before that hit me. This is what I'm doing, man. I'm hitting this button right here. Ah! Just had to get it out. Remember that? I am holding the D key, which corresponds to the right direction. Right, left. I don't want to live anymore. Thank you for the raid, Shawnee Do. Welcome to the live stream. This is my 5,000th consecutive attempt at the Devourer of Gods Terraria Butthole Mod, whatever it's called. Uh, this is a special case. He's probably gonna do it soon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! That, I feel like, is not where the lines were. He's just gonna do it again, though. That's what I hate with that late. See? That was pure fucking luck. Oh my god, that was insane luck. I just happened to fly through that at like Mach 3000. Don't do it again. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is the blessed run. I'm getting. Oh my god, did you see that? I went through those too. Oh my god! This is insane how lucky I'm getting. Oh my god. I think if I just dash at the right time, I can kind of use immunity frames. I think that's what I'm doing. Maybe it's less about luck and more about how I'm just like by pure ch All right. We're still not close. That's that's the thing. I got, I had like, that was a lot less progress than it looked like. I had like an unprecedented amount of just lucky breaks there and still was not really close to beating it. So we're still extremely far off. Unless he starts doing it more. Man, they just live forever, don't they? Um, I'm gonna go, I don't know, maybe vomit in my toilet. So, I'll see you tomorrow for the charity stream if I don't have the flu. Alright, I love you. I wanna die. I got my Dave and Buster's Sonic toy, so if I get mad, I can just... <laughs> womp womp. Okay. Whoops. gonna run away from it <laughs> okay. oh there's another one god damn laser walls oh shit okay we're still we're getting to this area pretty often for the laser wall attack uh for two out of three of them if you just keep moving in a straight line and spam dash you can actually just outrun it and squeeze through it oh that is not fair that one two punch is so unbelievable you did not touch me i'm reviewing the footage I, I need to switch directions. Oh, I tried to teleport and I don't think I had enough time. Just run. Just run. Yeah. Oh my God. That's very helpful advice. This one I should be able to outrun. Yeah. This one I should be able to outrun. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. That was by far our best run yet. Look at how low we got him. Oh, that's way uglier. That's infinitely uglier. But, I mean, percentage is helpful. Oh, it's so ugly, though. How tall do you think they're... Oh, yeah, if you if you know, don't don't say. That, that being said, 90% of the time, I'm like, if you know the answer, don't say it. People will still like, I think, I think he's... And then the exact answer. And it's like, okay, yeah, you lied. Therm seems 5'8". I bet Therm is 5'10". Who else wants to wager? Oh, can we do a prediction out of it? 5'8", 5'10", 5'9", 5'9", 5'7". 6'7". Seven foot four. All right, we need to make some houses, I guess. Let's just make some, like, actual, like, tragic living conditions. How does that sound? Like, you guys were pissed at me for these houses, saying that this was inhumane. Washington football court. Seriously, but it's the Red Sox, dude! They're one of the most valuable sports team franchises in the world, and they're operating like they make zero money because their owner is a greedy asshole. Just let me have this. Just just say I'm sorry to hear that. Not, I don't know. I don't even like baseball. Let me have this. Therm, honey, calm down. You guys are like the worst whenever I'm emotionally compromised. It's like the last thing a human being wants to hear when they're upset about something. Even calm down is mean, but the honey is the most theoretically condescending way you could ever respond to someone being upset about something. All right, this is not humane, but that's fine. Okay, did anyone move in while that was going on? No. Back to bed for me. Santa Claus! <laughs>
I've decided to get serious. And for me, that means finally using potions. Uh, this is not a joke. Besides accidental use, I have yet to use more than like two potions for a fight. I just didn't realize how helpful they were until someone had to tell me. And I'm also building a longer arena with platforms that are closer to each other. I downloaded a few kind of cheesy mods to make that process faster. And I also downloaded a mod that lets me just have permanent potions instead of having to buy a bunch for every attempt and then use them. I know that sounds kind of cheaty. It basically is. I turn it off whenever I'm not in a boss fight. Uh, come at me, I don't care. Shut up, I hate you. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah. Love you. Are we ready? Wow. Now I'm buffed forever. For every single, like, 12-year-old pro gamer who's gonna shit on me for this when the video goes up, they're just boosting my video in the algorithm. <laughs> that is the- that is the meanest- This was out of touch shit to say. Jesus, what have I become? Yeah, hate me all you want. You're just making me more money. Phase two, just like lickety splickety. I'm gonna stay in my little zone here. Ugh! I hate when it bursts into mega worm. All right, he's below half. Yeah. Ha ha! Oh, I cannot run this one. Ah, oh, I wasn't moving quite fast enough. Oh, shit. Use my teleport to go directly inside a laser wall. Can't do it. Can't do it. Gotta remember. Oh! <laughs> Don't get cocky. Shut up. You literally just said cock. So, who the real, who's the real winner here? Uh, laser wall. Ay! Clutch Crush's neck was snapped by death fire. Damn. That's a fat wave of laser. I don't even know what hit me. Sandstorm? Why? Now is not the time. I don't even know. Jesus, man. That's a lot of lasers. I'm gonna go forage for <laughs> little heels that might just be scattered around the map. Sometimes I run into little piles of candy canes or whatever. And that would be really helpful right now. Is it over? The music is still playing. Oh my God. I'm taking a lap. Dude, I just like sprained my ankle and I can't even feel it. I'm so embarrassed. I have like athlete adrenaline from this computer game. I was just running around my room. I landed on my ankle like completely. Thank you. For the fart noise! I am truly looking forward to never going through that again. Unfortunately, the next boss to my list is Yaren, which is apparently even harder, according to some people. For now, let's just focus on upgrades. How about that? And guess what? Once again, it dropped almost every weapon except the rogue one. I will not be fighting that thing again. We're raising more money and cheesing it. So now I've got the Executioner's Blade, which sprays out this Fantasia-looking spray of purple that obliterates the game's sound engine. Hey, are you guys excited that now you never get to hear the video game again. Frost Moon, Pumpkin Moon, and Solar Eclipse have all been powered up, so I grind out those for a few crafting materials. Now I can craft my new armor set, the God Slayer armor. The God Slayer armor set is going to take me from, I, I do look really cool, unfortunately, 245 defense, 
and 948 to 228 but 977 okay so I'm, I have less defense now let's need a dash for an immense distance in eight directions. Honestly though, by far the most influential upgrades in this case were the accessories. The sponge gives me some kind of turbo shield. By the way, I never really understood what these do. It prevents a ton of damage, strengthens my healing potion, whatever. The blood chalice, blood god, Fast yeah, Freddy, Freddy Fart Hole, something, something other. Gives me more health, I'm pretty sure, and turns all damage into a slow bleed effect that I think you can cancel by healing, which allows you to strategically heal to counter attacks. I made some better wings, a better shield that gives me more stats, and some nanotech thing that boosts my damage, I guess. I fully forgot what that one was for. All I know is that this accessory lineup was outstanding and carried me through the final stretch of this game. So from what I can tell online, Yaren a dragon spawns these two huge pillars of fire and you instantly die if you leave them or run into them or anything so i decide to erect these mud walls which i think i measured wrong and never had any purpose i don't think that being said i'm gonna be honest y'all I thought this one was mad easy. For some reason, something about this fight just made way more sense for my brain than any of the worms in this game. Here are the highlights, starting from my very first try at this fight. No deaths are skipped here. Considering it's called the Dragon of Rebirth, I have a feeling that if you exhaust its health bar, it just comes back stronger. Vocals? Dude, I'm not gonna be able to pay attention to what's going on if someone's talking in my ear. What am I supposed to do? Because I have a really hard time with voices in my ears. Like, it's the same way as schoolwork. Like, I can't do schoolwork to songs with words. Mm. Ah, that's it. I don't know how I managed to do so good the last try and then get my ass beat that time. That is not the direction I wanted to go. I'm so sad. I just used my cool dash just to fly face first into a wall of fire. I'm so cool. Do I have my dash back? I can't even remember. Which button is it? Caps lock. Rah! Wasted it. This is corn even in like a cool way, like an anime way. What the hell? Oh, he heals. That makes sense. I kept seeing green numbers and being like, is that for me? Dumbass. 13 seconds until I can heal. Traveling merchants here. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what that guy was talking about, but I don't use platforms. The platforms are the only thing keeping me together right now. I didn't have buffs on. I forgot about auto buffs. I got that thing down to 15% health without buffs on. I only learned because I tried to reach over to hit rage and I, I poked B by accident and used my buffs. Wow, that was a good try. I mean, I'm sure I'm not as close as I think I am. I'm like 100% positive that once you deplete its health bar, there's like a whole other pile of shit to deal with. <laughs> I was really in a groove there, so I was pretty upset to take like a week-long break from this game. And on top of that, I had a raging ear infection in both ears during this stream and could barely hear. Anyone who's had an ear infection knows it's viscerally uncomfortable, so I was not expecting to get anything done today. Um, I was an absolute machine out there. I'm in my flow state. Oh, I forgot. This is where the they start having vocals. I hate this shit. It's so hard to focus. This is our warm-up. This doesn't even count. I have my... I'm gonna wait to use my healing potion until right after I get hit by something. So they have this accessory that gives me bleeding damage that gets reset if I heal. This has been really sloppy and we're still up to like 30% or whatever. So I'm, I'm, I'm enthused. Oh, this is a terrible... Yeah, I put myself in a really bad spot there. Whoa! That's my video game screen! Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> okay. That would have been better if we spawned it in the right spot. I forgot that I put the wall outside of its barrier thing, so I killed myself. See, look at how much damage I already done, dude. That was good damage. That was awesome. Okay. What did I hit, though? But what did I hit, though? That's what I'm saying. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I hit tab. Oh, wait. I want that back. Thank you. Oh, wait. Oh, damn it. Hit the right button, dude. Come on. We're so far into this game to be messing up the map button. I got to avoid his contact damage at all costs because it does like eight times as much damage as everything else. Yep. I'll just go ahead and get hit by him immediately after saying that. Like a dumbass. Yeah, I just played really poorly the second I got below 20%, which has been the story of every single one of these attempts. Okay. 
Damn it. He's going to go do something where he's invulnerable. Yeah, man. That sucks. That's so unlucky. That just really, really sucks. Damn it. I used it because I thought I might get a hit. That <laughs> totally sucks and was not especially fair. Bummer, man. Bummer. We're doing worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. If I put together like a all-star campaign right here, I could get Rage and Drown at the same time. Big ass though, because there's shit all over my screen. I'm not going to wait for Rage because I don't trust myself. I have no self-faith. Okay, I have Rage and that's like cool. Oh, I guess I lost some of it because I wasn't near him for a while. Now I got Rage. Oh, I barely took the right path there. That was a whole jump scare. Truthfully. I got my shield. My cyber marble shield, whatever. Digital gamer shield. That is the whole screen. That is the whole screen that you're covering. Adrenaline, he's at two and a half percent. Adrenaline should uh, put it away. Nah, don't worry though. I'll just like completely choke it. Oh! Oh my god! Whoo! That was an absolute buzzer beater. Jesus. I'm really proud of myself for that one. I'm not sure how much of that victory was on my skill and how much was on this like OP set of accessories some stranger told me to use or the fact that this was the first time I actually started using potions. And I know how much the internet hates it when people are proud of themselves, but I think I did a really good job and I feel happy and peaceful. This presents a new issue though. We need something to display our final three relics. Ignoring the old duke. We're gonna get to him shortly. I decide to slowly figure out how to make a pretty fountain and I'm honestly very happy with the result. All right, still looks pretty damn cool. I would have loved to have figured out how they did this thing where they had this big cascade down the middle. I don't know how it's even possible. Defeating Yarin has opened the path to a few notable upgrades. I upgrade my shoes to Seraph Tracers, which is the best shoe. I'm able to boost my health again to the permanent max with a dragon fruit. After a lengthy spell of ore gathering, I can make my final armor set, the Auric Tesla armor. We are really in the final stretch, folks. Set bonus, Rogue Tarragon, Blood Flare, and God Slayer armor effects. What the hell? It has all of them? That's pretty cool. I don't know, like, what they are, but... Now that I've crafted my new weapon, the Wrath Wing, I'm ready to move on to... Well, first I gotta kill the old duke real fast, so yay, another relic. No meaningful things drop. I just killed him for sport. Two bosses left. First is the Exo Mix, and I gotta say, this one was easily my favorite in terms of personal growth. In literally one hour, I went from the fight seeming completely unrealistic and impossible to beating the whole thing. It starts with me contacting this Dryden guy, clearly important to the lore. I think all the labs are his. I don't know. I'm not much of a reader. Then the game gives me the choice of whom to fight first. My options are Ares, a giant spider looking mech guy that latches onto my whole Wawa world. Thanatos, another goddamn worm with laser and Apollo and Artemis, a pair of robot creatures that shoot at me from both sides. I kind of just do whatever here because regardless of who you pick, you're still at some point going to have to deal with all three of them at the same time. All things considered, though, this was probably my favorite fight in the game. Contact. Whoa. Who are you? Oh my god, it's the thing from Portal. Oh, it's talking to me. I can't read that fast. You will face my creations, which have surpassed gods. This one. Whoa, it's on my ass. Jesus, man. Oh, okay, so I don't really have to like move necessarily. Okay, if I get hit even once, I'm dead. Oh no. This is truly unreal. 
how much shit there is going on that I'm supposed to be able to see and avoid. Dude, like, what in tarnation? Just ran into something. I don't even know what. What am I looking at? This is my, this is my screen. Oh, well, that's gonna, yeah, okay. I'm stuck. The thing is, I can't even tell what I'm aiming at. Genuinely, there's so much on the screen that it's impossible to tell. Oh my god, I'm just blindly going up and down and praying that I don't hit anything. I'm not doing anything calculated right now, and it's actually kind of working. I can't tell what you're saying. I would love to read what you're putting in the chat. Function. They're all here! It's like Smash Ultimate! We're gonna go for this guy because he's always like right above my damn head. Okay, they do have an outer bound, so if I just move far enough, they can't reach me. So we'll do that next time. Yeah, sure. Sure. Well, that was better. See, but now there's a worm in my sphincter, and I can't really do much about that. I'm literally messaging my friend Adrian right now. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's beaten this before. Check out Adrian's Rogue Calamity mod video. He did it first and probably better. He beat Calamity as Rogue class. He did? He already did this? Fuck. I did not know. Shit. How recently did he do this? Oh my god. I mastered Terraria's Rogue class. Four months ago. Hey Siri, how the fuck? Actually, in this phase, I think running horizontally is the move. Never mind. There's no move. There's no move. The only move is to quit. The only move is to turn your computer off. As a, as a single mom on the go, I often find myself wondering, ah, is there just a way I could relax? This bitch can't catch up with me. Okay, I think I need to stop going to the side, right? Isn't that the thing that I learned earlier? There we go. You cannot escape. I, es I, es I escaped. Yo, check me out. Okay, I'm leaving again. <laughs> you can't escape. I'm doing it consistently. It's down to point four. Done. All right, I'm a dumbass. I was literally just about to say, oh my God, this fight is a lot like the twins. It's the Exomex. Thanatos is like the destroyer and Ares is like Skeletron Prime. Hey, remember? It's impossible. The ocean! Well, we killed one of them. All right. So last time I went up and down, but when all three of them are attacking, moving to the left was, was working. So maybe if I just do that some more. Whoa! Pure fucking magic that I didn't get hit by anything there. Oh, that's it. Oh my God, I'm alive. Okay. Oh my god, Adrian is such a fucking saint. He just sent me like an essay. This dude is genuinely... I, I've met very few people in my life who will more readily just put aside whatever they're doing and help out than Adrian. I'm gonna give this a huge heart. What an awesome dude. Oh! <laughs> All that remains is this dumb ass worm. He took a moment to glance down at the chat and just saw that he said, ah! Ah! Oh my God, what the fuck? Um, um, what am I meant to do? Oh my God. What the fuck? In this attack, Thanos just places a crosshair on the player and tracks the case for three seconds while firing a harmless converging ray. After three seconds, the ray is fully materialized into a gamma disintegration beam. While forming this attack, the head itself becomes vulnerable and has vulnerable properties. Staying close to the head slows Thanos down significantly, making the beam much easier to dodge. Avoid dashing. Oh, avoid dashing as Thanos will instantly snap the beam to your position. All right, it's the worm. It's the worm, and I'm about to die. Okay, stop moving. Oh, I should have saved uh, Adrenaline for the part where he, uh, his head is, takes 10 times damage and does the laser thing. God, this is so huge. It's over! An unknown factor. A catalyst is what you are. Nearly as disconnected to this land and its history as I am. Excuse my introspection. I must gather my thoughts after that display. 
This land has become stale and stiff with blood that's been spilled until now. You've also spilled blood, but it may be enough to usher a new age of what I do not know. Uh, you, you wish to reach the tyrant. Can't assist you in that. It's a matter of spite for, uh, be you managed... What? You've managed before. You will find a way eventually. I must acknowledge your triumph, but I will turn out of my machinery. What a cool guy. Uh, fuck your machinery. Relic number two. One left. We've come a long way since the beginning of this challenge. I started writing this script before beating the Profaned Guardians back in Stream 9, fully expecting to scrap this project because I didn't think I could do it. And now only one relic is left. Supreme Witch Calamitas. I had no idea what to expect from this fight. All I know is that she makes a tiny box I have to stay in, which I honestly love. Because now I don't need to do any terrain prep, which is my least favorite thing in this game. The theme of this fight is bullet hell. Each time you get to a certain health threshold, you have to go through this 15 to 20 second mini bullet hell segment where the boss herself is completely invulnerable. Besides that, it's honestly pretty standard. She doesn't actually have that many distinct attacks. It just gets tough since she spawns like a million friends throughout the fight until by the end you got four huge meatballs that will tear you to pieces. There are a couple times when she spawns this worm. The worm is invulnerable. This is a fact that I did not learn from my first two full attempts. You're supposed to bust these little hearts at the top and then the worm will die. Besides that, it's usually just dodge the red things and kick her shit in the whole time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god, this is a pretty small arena. Would I have to kill the worm first? This is brutal. This is like the exact kind of stuff I'm really bad at. Unprecedented. We did zero damage. Dude, I'm really trying to like understand. Oh, 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 she's, she's vulnerable, I think. But then she, like, covered the whole screen. Sepulchre is invulnerable. Oh, but it had a health bar. It had a green health bar. That's mean. It's misleading. And it, yeah, invulnerable and flies around the arena. I don't like that they gave it a full health bar. If it's invulnerable, don't get a health bar. Killing all 10 brimstone, heart, brimstone hearts kills a sepulchre. Okay. Now we're doing damage. Oh, I didn't see that one. Now we're doing, we're doing, we're doing the damn thing. I gotta break these platforms. Ah, uh, they're so helpful for the bullet hell, though. I don't know. Maybe just one. I think I should have one in the middle. Okay, the huge fireballs are me. I've been going this whole time not being able to tell if that's me or the boss. Oh my god, is, is she already at half health? God dang! So fortunate. Uh-oh. Let's read. <laughs> I'm not risking this. Vocals! Vocals! Oh, that's the brimstone uh, crag theme, I think. You will suffer greatly. No. All right, I'm very injured. What? That's the moon. What the hell? That's. Oh, I can I can hurt her. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I can't read your chats, dude. Oh, is this another bullet hell? Oh, for the love of god. They're so huge and so fast. Oh. Oh my god. I just saw my health. All right, hitless incoming. Oh, I gotta break the hearts again. I think. Oh. Yeah. Wah wah. All right. Well, that was really good. We got down to like single digit probably. Oh, okay. Shit, dude. I'm getting beat the fuck up. I'm in a chair. I'm a... Oh, no! I was about to say I'm a comfortable gamer. So I'm a dangerous gamer. And then I got hit and I lost my adrenaline. Contacts are drying out. I forgot to wear my, my uh, extra moisture contacts for dry eye today. Yeah. That... That attack pattern right there is, dare I say, undodgeable. She's just taking a breath. I respect it. We stand a self-care queen. Ah, oh, I used adrenaline right when the bullet hell started again. That's so unlucky. And I'm lost. I just, what the hell, what? What do you mean I just defeated my 150th antlion larva? I am not in the, I am not in the desert. All right, here we go. This is where it all this is where it all counts. I hit one of the big red faces. 
I hit one of the big red faces. I have 14 plat. Where is this from? I beat her ass. I beat her ass. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was... Oh! I forgot this is the part where there's the big meatballs. Oh, shit. The guide says to go counterclockwise. We're going to be going clockwise because I'm a contrarian bastard. Just need to dodge. My contacts are drying out. I can't really see right now. I'm operating on what basically amounts to echolocation. And would you look at that? Get off the chair, dumbass. Here we go. I hit the meatball. Oh, thank God I had the shield. Jesus. Can't be hitting the meat. That's like the one thing I've got to prioritize avoiding over everything else. It does extremely high damage compared to all the other things. Oh my God. Okay. Worm is down. Centipede, whatever it is. Come on. Got her. Got her. Done! And done. She's talking to me and I'm not paying attention. Ooh, I'll be in your hands now. What will? What is happening? I got a present though. <laughs> and with that, my proudest gaming achievement is complete. I went from knowing almost nothing about Terraria in general to beating one of its hardest mods, and I honestly didn't think I could do it. I know like a hundred of you are gonna fly to the comments and be like, No, try death mode. Just nothing. I did that with my eyes closed. Please let me rest. I also did end up doing boss rush and beating it on my first try just to be able to say that I did everything. I don't even get a prize. Oh, it's a rock. Thanks. Read it and weep. Weep for me. Weep. We have now, why do I keep saying we? Y'all didn't do shit. I have now completed every single thing this mod has to offer, according to the checklist. I'm sure I shouldn't say it because people are gonna be like, um, you didn't do the secret Google Doobleton fight of uh, where if you give- And for those who are curious, here is my list of some notable fights ranked by how many tries they took. I put this on my Twitter and now I put it here. If this video has a thesis statement, it is that boss fight difficulty is subjective and I can't do worms.